Welcome to Friday! Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari 2600 games. Mm -hmm. And it is the weekend! Yay! Hooray! Hooray! It's the weekend, and I have next week off, so... Yay! It's the first time in a long time for me. Yep, yeah. not a lot of vacation's been going on. No, well, either you, you have lots of vacation or none at all, so yes. <laughs> that seems to be... and you've had none. I've had none, so that's Lots okay. of work. Yeah. Sound sync, thank you! Uh, I think I've got everything, and then it's like, no, you missed something. There you go. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Ground Trooper. So, um, cheers. cheers. Cheers to the weekend. <laughs> yes. So we've got four games mm. today. Mm. Uh, brand new one, RC Sumo Bots by mm. Carl G. Uh, a game called Because It's There. Um, and by CP Face, mm -hmm. and uh, an exclusive work in progress <gasps> update, actually a release candidate of Zookeeper Ooh. that John Champo sent for me to test for I'm us excited. to test. I'm excited. I'm excited. And I haven't had a chance to That's test excellent. it, so why not test it on the show live? Mm -hmm. um, and also, we're doing a patch challenge. Ah, James is trying to earn the patch he has. For ice hockey, yeah. I have the patch now. I have to earn it. See if I can earn that. In the meantime, it stays over there till I earn it. <laughs> um, I want to thank our Twitch subscribers for keeping subscribing and keeping supporting us. All the names are on the right there. Al Nefer, Arms Car Coder, uh, Cafe Man 2D, Captain Kalasic, Catalog, CD W, Charles and Check, Cold Heat 007, Dianoid, Dan AVC Drexel, Dr. Napalm 75, Grey Defender, Ground Trooper, John E. Nitro, Johnny WC, Jupiter Storm 17, Carl G. Kev Kelly, Croco 2600, Mark Space, Inc., Metal Lunar 1969, Metal Lunar, oh, Metal Atari 1969, Metal Lunar 7, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Strum, Packrat VG, RC7E, Repentless VG, Ricardo Pam, Six Sweet, <laughs> Socrates 0603, Spartan 581, Spiceware, Esther Mirrors 2008, The D Train 37, Washman 89, Thunkus, Tiki, Dan K, and that was the Atari Cat. Nope. Just ran away. Pixel Cat. Oh, Pixel Cat, Cat sorry. Yeah. Just Already forgotten out. his cat's name. That's right. <laughs> One of those cats. Um, <laughs> One of the two. <laughs> and you can support the show and subscribe for free too if you link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime. Click subscribe and make sure you follow, click like, and subscribe and all the things Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Speaking of YouTube, mm -hmm. we just hit 600 subscribers. Woo! Yay! So thank you everyone who have been enjoying the streams after mm -hmm. the fact. Um, and watching them later on uh, YouTube. And I want to thank everybody for tuning in live today because we do stream live on Twitch mm -hmm. and you can interact and type things. Uh, I, I think if James can't earn the patch, Tanya gets to iron yeah. it onto clothing item. Or I, I am still 100% no. for, for no. I'm going to have an Atari uh, sash for you <laughs> so that when, when you're, you're earning your patches, you can put the sash on and yes, yeah. It's yeah. terrible. It ruins no, them. I love it. I love uh, it. Uh, Metal Atari 1969. Thanks for tuning in. Arena Foot. Esther Mears 2008. Nathan Strum. Uh, Carl like G. Scouts, yes. uh, <laughs> Metal Atari 1969. Splendid Nut. Leo C. Santi. Jupiter Storm 17. Mm -hmm. Kev Kelly. <laughs> um, who else? Great Defender is up there. Captain Classic. I probably said their name already. Uh, Mountain Stars, that's a new name. Yeah. I don't think I've noticed that. Jared Gray West, uh, Phil. Uh, oh, Armscar Coders here. Welcome. And Great anybody else who I miss. Lots of names in there today. Excellent. Yes, welcome, welcome, yes. welcome. Um, uh, and speaking of YouTube and hitting 600 subscribers, um, I got our first copyright claim on a video what <laughs> for zero page home for what uh for music for last episode um for the 8-bit oh. version of a 78 year old piece of music really it was a music for blip football called fanfare for the common man oh, da, da, da. oh that's all i can sing yeah okay. <laughs> i'll get uh wow i'll get wow, uh, flagged really? again yep uh, even though it's not the original recording, it is the composition. 
And if even Fanfare if Fanfare for the Common Man? Yeah. It's a musical work by the American composer Aaron Copland. It was written yes. in 1942 yes, yeah. for the Cincinnati Symphony Orchestra under conductor Eugene Goossens and was inspired in part by a speech made earlier that year by then American Vice President Henry A. Wallace in which Wallace proclaimed the dawning of the century of the common man. So even if we hummed it, wow. even if we sang it, it'll still flag it, say, somebody composed that wow. within the copyright. Within whatever the copyright, is it 100 years now? It's different for different things. I think it's 110 wow, so and 90, depending. Wow. So it's well past the I would age not of have, the person. I would not have thought that was, like, I, I, I know that song. It's got to put their grandkids, uh, grandkids through school, right? Well, so, yeah. probably putting them through more than school. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Um, yes, thanks, Walt Disney. Somebody is up on their copyright. Yep. Um, and from Wikipedia, it says, CBS Sports Spectacular is a sport that sports anthology television program, and in 1979, the program switched to an in-house version of the American composer Aaron Copland's uh, symphony inf instrumental Fanfare for the Common Man, which was used until 1980, and that is the connection oh. to the well, football yeah, the use football. of the music wow. and why it was in blip football. Wow. Um, so there you go. So what do you have to do in that case? Do you have to just mute the music um, on the it, video? It used to be that it would mute the portion of the uh, video. Yeah. Or it would mute the whole thing. Yeah. Um, now it depends on the agreements or whatever. It could mm. still like, it can like take your video offline if the, if it wants to. What mm. it did for the video is if I put ads on it, which I don't put ads on it because it's annoying. I hate ads. Um, they would just get all the money Yeah. for the minute long out of two and a half hours. They would get every single dollar that uh, the ads would go towards, even though it was less than 1% yeah. of the whole thing. Wow. They, they It's set up so that they get it if all. anybody has any copyrighted material, they assume that people are watching that video for that song, even mm -hmm. though it made up one one minute, M just one over one minute. I think it was one minute and 20 seconds okay. it made up. Yeah, demonetize it. Essentially, that's what they're doing. Um, yeah. yeah, they demonetize it for the person's stream Yeah. Um, or the person's video. And the money goes towards them. Mm. Um, also, in certain countries, it said it will roll ads on it. And those that money will go towards that person. Really? Yes. Wow. Yeah, whatever. I never thought I would get a copyright um, yeah. a claim because it's I never play any music on this show. No, no. I mean, it's, it's all, just what's built into the game. It's all 2600 music. Yeah. <laughs> and that was like yeah. one that was recognizable enough. That it because, caught it. Because we played it for a while and loud enough. Because wow. it's like, oh, this is really good music. And we turned it up anyway. Yeah, yeah. That's what yeah. happened. That's what happened. It is, it is the state of things, but yep. interesting. Yeah. Um, Kirk Israel pointed out in the forums that the Tari Basic, created by Fred Quimby, turned 15 the other day. Mm. Um, so he posted, um, yeah, last Tuesday, Batari Basic turned 15 years old. Um, so it's uh, spawned a lot of games. Um, it's uh, Atari Basic has made it easy for people to get introduced to programming for the 2600 and understand uh, the components of it and how to, you know, plug things in a little bit easier. You still have to know how to program because it is still a programming language mm. in Basic, but it it has some you know subroutines built in. Let's say that make it easier to do the harder things. Mm. Um, should put two competing copyrighted music <laughs> in the same show. Let the copyright holders fight it out who gets yeah. the money. They just split it, I think. I think you're right. I they think just they go, would just yeah, divide 50, it. 50. 50, 50, yeah. Yeah, it's like you have two. Half of it goes to this person. Half of it goes to the other one. Oh. Yeah, blip football is still awesome, regardless yeah. of yeah. that. It's that not is crazy. blip football's fault. <laughs> wow. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so, originally it was posted uh, July 7th, 2005. Um, by Batari. It said, I'm probably going to get a mix of praise and criticism for this. Anyway, I've written a basic compiler for the Atari 2600. <laughs> yes, you read that right. This is not a joke. Of course, there is no print statement, string operations, or arrays. Hmm. Those are more advanced for the 2600. Yeah. Um, but I've managed to abstract uh, some of the harder things to simple basic keywords and functions. Nice. Hello, Metal Lunar 7. 
Uh, and Omega Matrix made another menu for an original run 2600 game, Championship mm. Soccer. Mm. Um, so let's take a look at that menu. Actually, I didn't even put... We should just take a look at it on the Atari. Okay. Because it's much more interesting that way. We're gonna. I was going to take a look at a picture of it, but that's not very interesting. Mm. Uh, so he's been uh, slowly making menus for uh, older Atari games. Okay. Like the original run games. Um, because the original run had from the select uh, select switch um, you could pick like 1 through 60 variation of the game. Um, but you had to have the manual. And you go, oh, what is variation 23? Mm -hmm. And it would be like, oh, hard mode Three people aside, sped up, score goes to 22 or whatever. Um, but he has put it, he's been slowly putting uh, different games into uh, a nice front end menu. So, and I think, have you seen any of these before? We're just going to look at this one. But he's done a number of them. Mm. Um, I think it's just when. I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. When inspiration strikes him. Yeah. He's not doing them in any particular order or just, anything. Just, yeah, when he has a, an idea. Yeah. That's Pele's championship soccer for all you old schoolers in the audience, <laughs> D-Train 37 says. Yeah, sometimes they were renamed mm, um, along it over, the years. Diff over the years or yeah. for different regions. Um, so let's take a look at this. So, championship soccer menu. Nice. So, um, you can select with the joystick completely. You don't have to go to the, the console, which is also very nice. Mm. Um, you can select the players. Um, just turn it up a little bit. Um, speed, penalties, how big the net is. Um, and press that to do the kickoff. And you can see in the bottom right-hand corner it will actually still tell you what variation it is. Oh, good. See, so variation 37 is one player, medium speed, easy difficulty, oh, gotcha. large net. Large net, yeah. And if you change one of them, and then that's, 38, that's, gotcha. right? 37, 38, 39. So before that, you had to go to the reset and look it up in the menu, and it had a grid usually uh, of... Th and yeah. It's because they... They didn't do this. No, no, obviously they didn't make it easy. It's so much cheaper yeah. to print it in a piece of paper, and then you look at than yeah. to have more uh, ROM yeah. on the cartridge. Like old games where you got the map. Yes, I exactly. Those. I miss those where you're like, so, where am I going? Now we're playing soccer. Oh, 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 blobs! I love Ooh. it. Look at those blobs. Get, oh no! They've stolen it from me. No, <laughs> no, 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 no! Get oh, that! That is a small net. <laughs> No, no, no. <laughs> that is a small net. It's my advantage right now. Come on. Ah. Kick. 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 Get it. Keep going. Nope. Kick. 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 Is there offsides? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, Maybe? I think I have them off. Okay. You get it. Okay. And kick it in. No. Okay. That's enough. <laughs> What's that? No offsides. No, I figured with just the three players moving in tandem, that probably wasn't going to happen. Yeah, no. But, yeah. Yeah. Um, so somebody is developing a, a rumble controller for the 2600. You know, modern controllers have the have the vibration built into it. I love that. Somebody has developed it, not Diz developing it. They've They've developed the code and the controller. Will it speak like the the Atari box? Because that would be awesome. Like yeah. it, you know, because no, a lot rumbling. of them. No, but a lot of them have speakers, speakers in them. In them. Yeah. So they they like like all the the Wii and and yeah. the Wii remotes and stuff would have noises, and a lot of them have noises. So you need That's... the Atari box built into the controller. Well, in the discussion. <laughs> I'm making demands now. I want the, this to happen. <laughs> there's there's no power. Like, there's only tiny bit of power coming out of the Atari yeah. going into the joystick. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he yeah. was able to develop it so that it did power the rumble just enough. From the Atari? From the Atari. So there's no, like, um, I don't no even battery. know what you call that, there's but, no like, power. really no battery. Yeah. Wow. I would it's think you'd a... need a battery and it would just interpret, like, yeah. the sound, but... Uh, no, to get the sound... 
it would have to have power. Like like the Atari no, box. Yeah, yeah. The Atari box it would have has to be enough... powered. I mean most most modern controllers are powered. They so... have battery in them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, batteries in them. So um, the user Flickertail created some code and a controller that has rumble support. Mm. Um, he says cool. uh, when there's a collision detection, like the code and the game he put up or whatever. Oh, okay. I don't think he posted the ROM, but um, because so cool. you'd have to make your own. Yeah. Um, when there's a collision detection between the player sprite and the play field, he put a video on it. Uh, I set the pin for I/O to input, which turns on the vibrating motor. Then when a collision is not detected, I set the pin 4 I.O. to output, which mm -hmm. effectively kills the power for that pin and turns off the vibrating motor. Mm -hmm. He's got a video up with a tiny, tiny little motor that goes bzz, bzz. It's It's really, really impressive. So if you want to take a look for that, the username is Flickertail in the Atari Age forums. Um, and I thought that was, that was a very, very unique um, mm -hmm. thing. I've never heard of that before for the Atari. Is it a modified CX40? It doesn't look like it's based on anything. It looks like it's from scratch. He made the controller. It's not encased in anything either. It's just a bunch but of wires he, he, and he buttons. Just, it's, it's almost a proof of concept and a... Yes. Yeah. Okay. It's like, I've yeah. got the code. I've, I can make I, it work. I've proved that it works. Yeah. If somebody wants to make like games for it, yeah. plus sell the joystick at the same time, mm -hmm. that's going to be a little tough. And build the Atari box into it. <laughs> uh it, that you're like help. no that won't happen <laughs> you need power to have the yeah. audio to drive a speaker yeah, yeah. No. um i've attached the updated code so he's posted the code as well if people want to just include it in their games yeah uh you don't even have to have uh you know the hardware out there if you just put it in your games mm. um so that was really cool um so we're gonna jump into the first game which is rc sumo bots mm. Um, brand new game um, by Carl Garrison, Carl G. First posted July 14th, and this build is from today. Nice. Um, he let me know that I've up uploaded a new version that has eight different arena variations to choose from with the select switch. Mm. So we have to get up and press the select switch. No, it's fine. <laughs> um, I believe it's just two players. So I'm going to okay. plug in the second joystick. Sounds and you're still good. computer player. I love the concept of this. You mentioned it briefly, I think, yesterday to me. So. Yes, yeah. I think I did. So let's switch over. I'm to... surprised there aren't more games that are sumo. Um. Well, we did play. I did play one. Mm -hmm. Um, with Erlen. Oh, really? So go for it. Oh. Um, a little while ago, not too long ago, actually, on the seventh of July. Um, called Atario Party. And it was by those students that I was talking about. Oh, it was a student game. Yeah, nice. Yeah, so it's just two characters and one pushes the other character. Yeah. It it wasn't well implemented, I would say, mm. um, because you would just slip past the other person. Oh, you like, weren't really bouncing. Easily. They weren't bouncing off. They you. weren't bouncing. Yeah. It was just straight pushing. So if you both pushed, mm. it would be a stalemate. If one wasn't pushing, it would push the other, but... You had to be perfectly on them. You would mm. just be slipping and sliding, and it was, mm. it was not super super great. Mm. Um, so this is a 4K game. Other games he's made: uh, Cannons, Toy Shop Terminator, Space Game, Penalt, RC Sumo, Bots, and Robot Tag. Mm. And you can download this in the Atari Age forums. Um, so he says uh, this is a little two-player game, two-player only game. Project I whipped up while taking a break from Penalt, which is a huge game. Huge. Uh, each player controls a remote control sumo bot, hence RC sumo bots. Remote controlled sumo bots. Yeah, okay. Just like an RC car. Nice. Except they're sumo bots. Yeah. Uh, the goal is to knock the other player into the <laughs> arena and avoid the same fate. Or out of the arena. Uh, out of the blackness, yes. Yeah. Into the. But there's different screens where there's like poles and stuff. Oh, okay. So technically knocking them into the into surrounding, surrounding arena. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm looking for feedback on the look, the feel, as well as the fun factor. Well, mm. we're here for that. Let's see how fun it is. And two-player games are always fun. So I am the blue. Oh, I'm pink. And it is a Ooh. thrust style gameplay where there's ah. <laughs> killed yourself all right where um there is momentum 
And the first one of the first people to comment on it was uh, Thomas Yench because his favorite ga types of games are thrust, <gasps> thrust style games. Oh, yes. Um, which adds a quite a different dimension to this. Ooh, oh, the bounces are pretty, pretty good. Ooh. We have to recover. Yes, Thomas will like this. Yeah, it's a cool game. Hit press the button. There we go. Oh, that's unfair. <laughs> are you not still pushing towards me? Oh, you are. Yeah. Uh -oh. Oh. Why am I faster? I think there's a handicap. On. No, I think you're. I think no? you're just jumping on it faster. That's all. So I have a little bit more speed. Oh, yeah. See? yeah. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe my controller is a little off. Well, you're pushing in the right direction. Yeah, so you started... All you have to do is start earlier. <laughs> like, we hey. should be equal, but I'm... Okay. Maybe you're you right. In, you press in the direction and press... No, you weren't pressing right away. I Well, I was. No, your dot no, was not on. I was. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Okay, you die. Okay, wait. No, don't press yet. Okay, wait. Don't press. Don't press the button. Okay. Press in my direction. Yeah. Now press a button. Yeah, oh, I'm stronger. Oh, you are stronger than me. That's really weird. Yeah, there is a disadvantage there. I wonder okay. if it's one of the settings. Do you think it's one That's of the settings? Or do you think it's no, the already, controller? Already, no, it's not the controller. Um, because um, you're either pressing it or you aren't. And, and that dot indicates, yeah. oh my god, you're way stronger than me. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> no difficulty settings in this game so okay. far. Okay, yeah, there's definitely something funny, but it could. Whoa! <laughs> so the blue has an advantage. So yeah. if you are. Oh, I, I, I did forgot that. which yeah. side I was on. <laughs> I seem to recover faster, too. Oh my god! I recover faster, too. I think the thrust on the blue is faster. I think you're right. Yeah, there's definitely something. Oh my Yeah, look at your just bounce. destroys me. Yeah. Uh, see? Disadvantages. <laughs> Do you want to try swapping the controllers to see if the blue and the pink? Oh, it doesn't matter. No, no. Swap them because it will confirm the blue is stronger. It's not the controller. <laughs> it's not the controller. It's not. Like, you're either pressing it or you're not. No, like, that's I don't all know. There no, is. no, no. Do it. Do it. I want to see. I want to see. You're crazy. Crazy. I want I want it confirmed. I'm an analytical person. We need to test this. The, 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 the controller has no extra thrust in it. <sighs> okay. Now they're backwards. Now I'm blue. Ah! And you're Ooh. killing yourself. Okay, here I come. No. Here yeah. I come. Yeah. It's definitely blue. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely blue. It's important to... Blue is much stronger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is a perfect simulation of me getting the crappy bumper car at the fairgrounds. <laughs> okay. Press the button. Okay. I just have to... Oh, my God. Okay. Who wants to be... I, I don't want to be the strong one. It's too easy. Here. Unfortunately, <laughs> sorry, You're I keep thinking now. I'm pink. <laughs> That's hilarious. You can you can barely defend yourself. No, as it's, pink. it's yeah. So definitely, there's ah! a ah! <laughs> there's a slight imbalance there. I have to just avoid you and so. Uh. So the next game, Carl G, you ah. need to program is fairground buffer cars because Damn. I actually think the dynamic of these guys are, are pretty good. Like the bouncing, it, it, oh, it yeah. reminds me of bumper cars. Oh, yep. I'm going backwards. Just turn it into a driving controller. <laughs> a driving controller. So it, it puts the little uh, spinner on that, and the button is yeah. accelerate. But you just put a, and a, change few, the graphics. a few more obstacles, put other cars well, in the way. I don't know, is that, that, can you do that? I don't know. Oh, look at this. Ah. This might make it a bit more... You can't touch those things? Challenging. Nope. You cannot touch those things. So if I, yeah, okay, I'm just. So he's got eight different variations on nice. it. Nice. So, ah, uh, <laughs> this might make it a bit more fair. Maybe. 
depending on. Ah! Oh. Yeah. I like it though. Oh, yeah. No, <laughs> I can barely recover. Uh... Oh, I don't affect you at all. I mean, that would be a very good option to have a handicap. Maybe not as extreme as this. Or you can adjust like the, the handicap too. That would be interesting. Yeah, that's what I mean. Oh, like if you're playing against your, your child, you can give them a fair advantage. So. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you, it's a huge advantage to play blue. It looks good. The, it the one who hits the button first always wins. Well, only one person can um, start the game. That's uh, player one. Mm -hmm. oh, almost I got can you. recover a lot more, too. Yes, you can recover like a lot thrust, faster. The, I can't. The thrust is... I, I have way more thrust than you do. Yeah. that's. Yeah. It must be just a setting that Carl G has. Yeah. Because they act exactly the same. Yeah. It should do a three count, then start. That's not a bad idea. Mm. <clears throat> three, two, one. Because um, the, the person who does press the button has a slight advantage. I guess you could um, anticipate. Whoa! <gasps> you could anticipate and always just press in the direction you want to go. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think the blue's acceleration is fine. Yeah. I think the orangey pink guy I think just needs the, more acceleration i think just the opposite i think the orangey pink one is harder to control and that makes it better mm, it's a bit too hard to control because if they were both hard to control then you're you know it's there's more score more points scored right the the, <laughs> the blue one ah the blue one is is easy to control it's almost better if it's harder but keeps, keeps you, the score high mm, no because one bump towards me and i'm dead yeah that's and but and, that's not good enough like well, you can't recover yeah, that's true you have to be able to try and have, recover. have, have different uh thrust levels and you oh, can yeah. play you can play what? your thing fell out oh ha, 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 ha. i'm uh, like why is nothing happening <laughs> <laughs> that is funny my time for revenge hey oh we're <laughs> not or death revenge or death Okay, let's take a look at all the different variations. Okay. Um, so let's go back to the Oh, can you one. can you cycle through from one so, side to the other on that one? Uh, no, I tried that. <laughs> yeah? You just die. Oh. Um, so there's the original one. Mm -hmm. And with some jutting sides. Mm -hmm. And we'll just show you that you just die if you go to the... So you just mm -hmm. die. Um, so there is, there is a, an edge still there. Mm -hmm. um, then there's ones with four. Mm -hmm. And four and the little jutty out things mm -hmm. and one in the middle and then the middle one with the jutty outs and then five five and then five with the jutting outs so there you go okay very cool let's go with the most dangerous one mm. as zero says oh does it have tunnels that'd be cool no i think that would tunnels. be really cool if they did go through no. but they don't no, you die they do not. you just die it's it, it is interesting with with the oh, i can't ah! recover <laughs> One touch from you and I'm, I'm dead. Literally almost dead. Ah! Oh, <laughs> that was me. And when I first was like trying out this game, I was pressed in the wrong direction. I'm always thinking like it's an airplane. Like you have to press the opposite direction. Oh. Rather than, oh, down to actually down move to down. Down to thrust, but yeah. Yeah. Like, like you're, you're floating, so you're pushing away, right? Yeah. Yeah. But in this, you push in the direction you want to go. Ah, too fast. The graphics are, are great. I love the graphics on the I, actual characters itself. I, yeah. It almost looks like a smiley face. And, and how it's showing your direction. Yes. And it's showing which way you're, you're, you're thrusting or pushing. Yep, where you um, last thrust. I, I do really like that. I, I really like the sides of the screen, too. It just reminds me of, like, Commodore 64 <laughs> games for some reason. Yeah. Um, it's probably the color. Because I think there was a, the a yes, you're a right. Color, you're a C64 right. Color. Oh, like that magenta color. Yeah. It's like that in cyan is is yep. is <laughs> Those what are the reminds colors. me of, of playing Commodore 64 games and the Christmas uh, demo. 
I should lose the thrust graphics. No! No, 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 no. No, no, no thrust no. graphics are good. All the graphics yeah, are great. Do no, not touch the graphics. No, 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 no. It's so it, good. I just keep uh, <laughs> scoring on myself. That's No, I love it. It really helps you yeah. indicate what direction you're going. Yeah. No, I think... Back to zero. Azura says it um, was confusing him on Stella, but um, I I like it. Yeah. You get used to it. Maybe you just need to play it a bit more. Yeah. But um, no, no, I, I, I like, like it. it. I like it with the, the thrust and the direction. And the little dot. Yeah. So you know which direction you're um, I know. I, I, I like that too. I do feel like there should be like a blade coming out of them. Like as in as in like robot wars. Oh, the red part <laughs> in the rear. Well, the red <laughs> part is like your... Uh, is like your rocket engine. Yeah, it's your engine. Out fire. That's, that's, it's that's, like fire from the back. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It does have a Robot Wars. Uh, feel. Oh yeah, because they're RC. They're RC controlled, right? So you're commanding your sumo bot. Yeah, in the I like field that. of battle. But like I said, it needs like an axe or something. Like that. An axe. <laughs> Chop. Yeah, there's nothing for the button. You could. You could. Mm. <laughs> No, you don't need to do that. No, but, no complications. But uh, uh, no, I just it it just reminded me of Robot Wars. That's all. It did. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Might be have a fun to be have a soccer ball. Oh yeah, oh. you could bounce a ball. And that could interact too. That could be a too. variation. That yeah. might that might be a bit much for a 4K um, game. But yeah, a little a little we're, ball we're that all full of ideas. that doesn't hurt you. It just pushes you. You just bounce it around. Yeah. Yeah. Or no, you have a goal. You just bounce it. <laughs> then it's soccer. Then it's soccer. <laughs> then it's, it's just one-on-one -on -one soccer. soccer. That's, that's the next game is robot soccer. Yep. Uh, and the ball would have momentum too. Yeah, exactly. The ball yep. is a, an extra non-playing kind of character. Yep. But I'm not sure what he's using up in this game already. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, play field, the player for the characters. Uh, um, uh, uh. Look like you're using opposite indicators. So those are the missile. I'm guessing the ball is the thrust. Um, is it? Is it magenta? It looks red. I don't know. I bet. I guess it's the ball. So you could use the ball maybe and just have it flicker. I'm not sure. It's using all the objects. Okay, mm. the ball is the ball. I mean, the thrust is the ball that he's using. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Lots of fun. It's great, and and the um the bouncing, the movement, the feel of it is really good. It's working out really well. The ball is the blue player's eye. Mm. Really? I thought it was the missile. Oh, well, it is red. Mm. Okay, interesting. Okay, good mm. stuff, Carl G. Very fun game. 2D Rocket League is an idea I've been playing with. This looks like it has all the parts. Yeah, RC7E. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It does. It Ooh, does have yes. that feel for sure. Definitely make that. Yeah. That would be super awesome. Yeah. And uh, then you could uh, put four players on the field with the Quad Tari. Mm -hmm. Do it. Do it. Um, so the next game that we're going to be playing is Because It's There by Edward Griffiths, um, who is a uh, CP face on the Atari Age forums. Now I think this is just a one player, so I can plug the Atari box back in. Atari Fox Plus. Ready. Again, I just want to say, Really loving this joystick, even though it's having some oh, funny. Yeah, it's getting all crunchy and it is, sticky. I don't know what that is. Like why? Not the last sure. Game. Um. So this was uh, this is an older game, but put out in two thousand seven. It's also a four K game. Um, other games that Edward has made um, because it's there. Melbourne Taddy. Remember that game? That was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Kind of changing maze game and you're oh you're like moving around the maze yes 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 um he also made pong combat uh yes um you can download this in the atari age forums mm. and this was entered in the 2007 mini game competition and described as an action game with a mountain climbing theme make your way up Climb. randomly generated maze of platforms using nothing but a ladder and a bridge avoid killer snowballs mm. <laughs> Uh, and his comment on the competition, he said, uh, yeah, I always, 
Always wanted to enter something like that mini game competition. Pretty sure something will come along to beat me though. Uh, beat me too. Uh, I just really like the idea of people being forced to play something I wrote. Even if it's only for the time it takes to pass a judgment. Oh! D-Train subscribed. I didn't even hear that. Thank you very much, D-Train. Uh, ten months. Currently on a seven-month streak. Excellent. Thank you very much. Um, and I don't have any word of what it placed in the competition. I, I couldn't find any re a results page mm. for it. Because everything's like super old. 2007, it's all erased. I had to go to the archive.org. Um, so I think there's three variations for this game. So we'll play variation one. I think that's the easiest one. So you're the red stick, and that's the giant snowball, as you can tell. So don't get touched by it. Um, you're going to die. Hmm. Didn't even move. <laughs> it's coming. Where? What? Okay, so... How do I go up? You have two... Uh, ah, uh, two. Ah. There you go. Oh. So you have two things you can use, a ladder and a bridge. And up and button is the ladder. Oh, that's how. That's a ladder to nowhere. Hmm. Um, so it reminds me a lot of that game with the jelly beans. You can feed the jelly beans to your blob. Blob? Blob? Boy and his blob. Yeah, a boy and his blob. Boy and a blob? What is it called? Ah! Um, so <laughs> Sorry, this is like a, a blob with two, only two, two jelly beans. Ah, it fell out again. <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do with that. I don't know. We have to, like, duct tape it in. Crazy glue? Boy in his blob. David Crane. Go up. Ah! <laughs> oh, I don't know why I'm having such a hard time with this. You're, ah! you're used to it. A button to retrieve your ladder. Button and up to build your ladder. Oh, it's... it's... Go up. Okay. No, it's not good. You, just get it. you stand at the foot of Mount Everest, the tallest peak on Earth, and gaze <gasps> up at its insurmountable height. Just like so many fearless mountain climbers who have come before you, you pause to think about why you would risk your life for such a pursuit. Is it for the money, the fame, the self-satisfaction? No, it's simply because it's there. Uh, we'll skip on how to plug in a joystick. Uh, the mountains. And so you're playing Mountain 1. Mount, Mount Mole Hill. 2,000 feet above sea level, not a mountain in the technical sense. This short climb has an easygoing pace <laughs> and is perfect for beginners. So this is only 2,000 feet. You made it a uh, <gasps> tenth of the way. Ah, it's not good to be on the edge. Okay. Did I start right at the beginning? Uh, no, you still have 300 points. No, but like I, I start right back at the bottom of the mountain. <sighs> no, no you don't. Yeah, I think you You have do. to get 2,000 points, so you didn't lose your points. Uh, the second mount is Mount Kumquat, 10,000 no. feet. A more challenging mountain for the more experienced climbers. The pace is a bit quicker, and the climb is a lot longer. Mount Everest, 29,020 feet above sea level. The world's highest peak. The mountain will challenge you to a long, a long and grueling climb, where the pace is faster than ever. And number four, Mount Babel, question mark, feet above sea level? The ultimate challenge, this mountain rises upward forever. So it doesn't have a top. It has all of the challenges of Mount Everest, but you can't earn extra lives. How high can you climb? Du, 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 du. The how to play. The object of the game is to climb the peak of the mountain by using your equipment and avoid giant rolling snowballs. The counter at the bottom of the screen will keep track of how many feet you've climbed. 325 so far. Sounds like you're complicating the ladder somehow. Oh. Me? Yes, because like you're I pressing think... like four times to yes. get a ladder. Because you have to. You have what? How did it come from the left? It wraps around. Oh, that's ridiculous. <laughs> um, no, because you have to push the button, push up, and then climb the ladder and get rid of it. Tanny needs a better joystick. It's not that hard on the first level. That's what Arena Foot says. 
Never cared for long titles. Who calls it Archon the Light in the Dark? <laughs> a boy in his blob. Trouble on Bob Blobo Blobolonia. That was my one of my favorites. Saved forever to buy it. The button seem doesn't seem to be responding to put the ladder up or take it away. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it's just it's Watch out. Uh Okay. It's my turn. Yeah. You read. <laughs> That frustrating me. I'm frustrated <laughs> with it. It doesn't feel intuitive to me yet, so... How to play. How to play. The object of the game is to climb to the peak of the mountain by using your equipment and avoiding a giant rolling snowball. Look! What? Well, you're just double tapping it and going up. Yeah. One to get rid of it, one to bring it. Press up. I, I, I find it very unintuitive because you have to get you have to delete it. Yeah, by pressing the button. Yeah, and, and that's what I'm I'm having a problem with is I'm trying to create the ladder <laughs> when the ladder's already created and then it's not <laughs> ah! doing it. There you go. Run away. Yeah. Snowball. Yeah, you fall. But down. you're just going boom 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 straight up, like <laughs> I know, I'm totally cheating. Well you're not cheating, but I'm ah! just saying, there you go. Damn it. <laughs> they ran into a snowball, that's why. Yeah. Uh oh, it's gonna come up that side. And you haven't used the sideways one at all. I I was actually legitimately stuck there. I couldn't go up or to the side. Or to the side you had to go back down. Uh I don't I think you can't go back down. Well not down off the screen, but Yeah. So I was like literally dead there. No choice. Ah! No! Yeah. And you can't respond very quickly what? when he's right there. 1,200. I can beat this level. <laughs> um. Oh my god. Uh, where are you? You can move left and right by pushing the joystick in the appropriate direction, but you can only go up and down if you have a ladder. If you move off the left side of the screen, you'll come out again on the right side and vice oh. versa. So you can go right around. So you have the same abilities as, as a snowball. As a snowball. Okay. You have two well, pieces of equipment helps. to help you on your climb, a ladder and a bridge. To place the ladder, hold down the fire button and press up or down on the joystick to extend the ladder in that direction. You can then climb up and down the ladder by pressing up and down on the joystick. As you move up, the screen will scroll downward and the counter at the bottom of the screen will tick off the distance you've climbed. You cannot move back down the mountain. I mean, you can go down a level, but you can't yeah. go back down the mountain. The, the screen doesn't scroll down. It doesn't down. scroll back down. And you can fall off. Yeah. <laughs> to place the bridge, hold down the fire button, press left or right on the joystick to extend the bridge in that direction. You can cross the bridge just like any other platform, but watch out because the snowball will roll right across it as well. When you don't mm. need a piece of equipment anymore, press the fire button to retrieve it. You don't need to be touching it um, to get it back. You can then place it somewhere else or even pick a different piece of equipment as noted above. You can only have one piece of equipment out at a time. So make good use of it. Mm -hmm. Lives. You begin the game with three lives as shown as the marks in the lower left corner of the screen. You lose one life every time you're hit by the snowball or if you hit off the bottom of the screen. Here's the end of the game. Oh, you got the, the level? Yay! <laughs> 2,000. You're awarded a bonus life for every 2,000 feet you climb. Oh, you can start over? No. You can have a maximum of four lives at any one time. Like Winning... a boss. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Winning the game. If you make it to the top of the mountain, a victory tune will play. I didn't hear a victory oh, tune. Oh, didn't realize that Gary Kitchen was also noted as a designer for Boy and His Blob. Oh, oh Gary Kitchen. Neat. That is Dan Kitchen's brother. Mm -hmm. So. This game was written using Batari Basic version 0 0.35, created by Fred X. Quimby. Very nice. somebody before the show oh my god Dead. So this is on level two mm. how, how, how tall is level two i don't think we'll do this level is level two. two yeah can you read in the instructions how tall level two is mount molehill 2000 feet mount kumquat 10,000 feet 
No. I'm Mount not doing Everest, 29,025 feet. Mount Babel. Question mark. Uh, uh. <laughs> this mountain rises upward forever. It has all the challenge of Mount Everest, but you can't earn extra lives. How high can you climb? Mm. How high can you climb is from Donkey The pace Kong. gets quicker, too. Uh, yeah, you can move faster, and the snowball moves faster on this one. Okay, I'm gonna die, and you're gonna complete level one. Okay. <laughs> because it is not hard. I think you just needed to understand. I need to get used to the, the controls. Oh. Just one, yeah. So the advantage of pressing up is that's the direction you want to go anyway, and that's what the ladder... Damn. That's how you call the ladder. And just like the bridge is left and right, that's the direction you're going anyway. Ah. That's good. Uh, you can probably go ah. up to the left I there. To this to the side. There we go. <laughs> Oh, no. Yes, it I'm... is a 4K game. <sighs> this is making me crazy. Don't yeah, you don't have to let go of pressing up. And just keep pressing up. Because after you're at the top of the ladder, um, up doesn't do anything. Oh, <laughs> that's just mean. <laughs> it was. It was a, a pit on the on that side. The mechanics are very, very interesting in this game. I... Can I think of another game where you have tools for the 2600 that allow you to bridge gaps and climb up? I can't think of another one. What the heck do you do with this? Uh, wrap around to the left. Oh, there you go. That's what... That's what got me on one of my games, right? It was like, I'm stuck, where can I go? But I didn't know about the wraparound yet. Um, did anybody else think of a game, a 2600 game, where you have tools? Well, that was close. A little bit of a gap, but you are able to get over it. Mm. <laughs> it's frustrating. bridge oh <laughs> oh it's <laughs> funny you took your snowball. bridge did he take did he take it he took your bridge that is interesting adventure good call ah! good call yeah adventure adventure you have bridges same as this game but uh any other games ghostbusters you have tools but you don't you don't use those tools to get to different parts of the map, use them to catch ghosts, right? You don't use the tools in Ghostbusters, do you? Yeah, the vacuum cleaner, oh! but those are like more like weapons. Like this isn't a weapon. This is a, this is a weaponless game, actually. It's not many of those games um, where you're just avoiding and climbing. Stop it. Ooh, can you do a bridge across? Yeah, but left what's to the right? point? Well, you might need it um, if there's like a gap on both sides or a gap on one side. Where does the Lost Ark? Yeah, there's things there. Yeah, I guess there's a couple, but not many. Not many. Maybe I'm thinking of just homebrew games. <laughs> oh. Still very, very, uh, very, very clever mechanics. I think it's really well the way it works. Yeah. He could have added even another one in with down in the button. I don't know what it would have been, would have been but he doesn't really need any more. Yeah, because you have to climb up and you have to climb to the side or go to the side. So just have ladders. So one of the player characters is the ladder. Good move. And yeah, like one that. is the snowball. Because usually when you want to put ladders in the game, you can't. Because they're very complex and you can't normally draw them properly. Um, so in this game, he made the player just a stick. <laughs> so he could draw a ladder. 
Which was a good compromise, because who cares what you look mm. like. It's much more important to have a nice ladder. Hero has grenades. Uh, they eliminate walls, so uh, I might give that one a pass. They're more like weapons, but I, they do get rid of obstacles. So I think I would count that one. That, that's a good one. Good call. A little rolling animation of the snowball would go a long way. It would. All you would need was, would be like four. Um, a little gap in the top right, a little gap in the top left, a little gap in the bottom left, a little gap in the bottom right. You could even mirror the, uh, mirror the player, so you'd only need um, two. Two extra. So it would have a little animation rolling. And then you could switch direction depending on which way it was rolling, left or right. It obviously knows which way it's rolling quite easily. Uh, Donkey Kong? Ladders? That's, it, he takes ladders. He has a hammer. That's more of a, like a weapon. Um, I would think a tool would be something that doesn't hurt the enemies, but advances you through the game without very defeating close. enemies. Was very close. So here's a good advantage, <laughs> a good example with the grenades that blow away walls. Mm. So that's more like a tool. Mm. Haunted house, the key, at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That song, that song. Yeah, that's quite a song. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think we've explored this game. Yeah. I'm not going to climb uh, 10,000. 10,000 is a lot. Going up to 2,000 2, is, is a, lot. a fair amount. Yeah. So 10,000 is going to be a bit much. So we're going to go. No, nope, joystick for you. Mm. We're going to jump to the third game now. No, you're torturing them again <laughs> with the song. <laughs> Zookeeper! Whoa. Oh! Error. Try that again. Ready. There we go. That's more what it looks like. When oh, it's what's going properly. on? What's going on? Something is wrong. Yeah. Make sure it's all in there properly. Ready. And magic. There is something wrong with this Atari. Um, yeah. Pit Cat has Had, yeah. determined that there is. Um, so Al's gonna have to take a look at this Atari when he gets it back. Um, it might just be a chip. What? What are you doing? I don't know. You're starting the game? Maybe. Jumping in on it? That's fine. I think it's, this is novice. I don't want novice. <laughs> Good for practice. So. Okay, this is a release candidate version. We've got an exclusive here on Zero Page Homebrew. Um, this is by John Shampo, Johnny C of Champ Games, Nathan Strum on graphics, Robert Vieira, Varia, Varia, music and sound, uh, Lee Kebler, uh, Keebs uh, for additional music, Thomas Yench, uh, music and sound code. Um, this was first posted about December 1st, 2018. Uh, this build is from July 6th, 2020. It's your favorite level. Oh, I hate it. <laughs> Even in the novice level, okay. I die. Um, John Shampo posted about this today. This is actually a release candidate. If there aren't any bugs found, we're finally done. So if we don't find any bugs and... There's something funny going on. Keebs doesn't find any bugs... What's funny? I don't know. The movement of it is, is a bit strange. On this level. Uh, things might have changed. Um, he says, The special thanks to Nathan Strum for the graphics, gameplay suggestions, testing, and impending artwork for the box, which we haven't seen yet. Uh, label and manual. The sneak preview looks amazing, um, which we haven't seen yet. Uh, all he's released is this blank white label as a joke in the forums, which is pretty funny. <laughs> uh, Thomas Yanch for the sound effects and music data and the sound driver code so we could use the original sounds originally developed by Robert Vieira for the 1984 work in progress that was never completed uh, 
League Keebs Kebler for uh, additional music, including the Lion theme. So there's a new song with her in this version when we get to Lion stage. If we get to Lion stage. Because it's not easy. No. Um, and the No Bonus tune. So you want to listen for that as well. Uh, plus extensive game testing and additional suggestions. And James and the crew at Zero Page Homebrew mm -hmm. for featuring Zookeeper on their Twitch stream show and all the helpful feedback from their testing. Lastly, thanks to you to all the Atari Age members that have downloaded the demos and provided suggestions on improvements, found bugs, etc. It's very much appreciated. So, there's a huge list of things that have changed okay. in this. I'm guessing a lot of them are a lot more subtle because it was very, very complete the last time. Um, 2020-06-12, uh, so June 12th, he added in Quadtari support. Oh, nice. So that means two people will be able to trade off, and will be able to save the high scores. Gotcha. Because there's no four players in this game. Um, he added in an Atari Age splash screen tune, which, um, played at the beginning here. Uh, I was digging the solid white label, Arena Foot said. Yeah, I can't wait to see the label in manual as well. That's going to be amazing. Uh, Nathan says the final label has less white in it. So a tiny bit less white, a little bit more splash of color. Uh, Quotari, yes. Uh, fix the Zeke platform collision sound. So that's when you collide with the side of it. Let me hear it. Does that look like, jerky to you? No. I want to hear Coconuts. the... So don't talk while you're playing this. I want to hear the collision sound. Okay. It's very subtle. A lot of these things are very subtle and they're like... Um, comparing to the arcade and stuff mm. like that. Um, she does have a green dress, but... Um, that's probably a timing thing. It might be on this Atari. Uh, fixed a bug where the coconut throwing delay was longer for higher levels. That's not good. That makes it easier on higher levels. Uh, 2020, uh, so June 25th, uh, fixes. Adding in a scoring demo screen. Uh, scores from previous game are now shown in the scoring demo screen. Alternates with two player. Yeah. So wait. Don't press the button yet. Um... Oh, thank you very much, uh, Dink Smallwood, now following. Yay! So, what was it? Scores added in a scoring demo screen. Is this the scoring demo screen? Yeah, pick up the net. Was this not here before? I don't remember it. Capture bonus? I, I swear it was. Moose 4,000, line 30,000. Oh, Wait! Did you press something? No. Okay. I've pressed nothing. <laughs> or move the joystick. I want to play, though. So. That does stuff stuff as well. Or, or you can watch it. I'm going to go get some more wine. Oh, we don't need that much delay. <laughs> oh, no. Watch it. Hey, Kev73. 24800. Jared Gores, awesome conversion. I'm curious to know how they did the bricks. That came out of a... He noticed something in the mappy title screen. Um where if you did um, alternating back and forth two different um, graphics. Here, I'll turn it off. Oh, now it's going back to it. Go back. Go back to the... There we go. Oh, it's not working. What is it? I thought you could turn it off. There we go. Turn off what? Nothing. <laughs> Um, in the mappy, you can see there's a line down the middle of the graphics for the title. Yeah. And he noticed that and went, oh, I can make lines in solid graphics okay. by alternating um, interlaced lines. Okay. So he just did a whole screen of it and made bricks. So when there's two alternating lines back and forth right beside each other, mm. and if you go like that, that's what it's doing. It creates a line down the middle. And that's what it's doing. You can see it here in the zookeeper when yeah. it paints it on the screen. Yeah. There's little lines everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Neat. You guys had me at the title screen. <laughs> Condo fire happening down the road from me. So, so many oh sirens. No. Oh no. Stay it's safe. It's 73. 
Okay, jump yeah, back into careful. it. Yeah, be careful. Uh, tweak the continue logic, so now you're prompted to continue if neither player didn't complete level one. I guess I was broken before. Fixed a bug where the current initial didn't flash for player two when entering a high score. Yeah, that would be, uh, that'd be a trouble. Uh, June 26, fixed a bug where the level would wrap back around to level one after level six. Oh, wow. Oh. I guess it wouldn't be all the time because that would have been very obvious. Um, added in, can you hold the lion tune? This is on June 27th. Oh. oh. Those are trouble jumping around corners. They're not super intuitive. You have uh, to, you have to, yeah. <laughs> This game looks crazy. It is. It is crazy, and it's it's a it's a super a, fun game though. Miracle that it can be made on the on the twenty six hundred. Yeah, it's a lot of jumping, and there's three snakes in that group there. Yeah, they're all just moving it's at the same time. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, oh, too early. See, I, yeah. Um, for invisible platform terrible. levels. Oh no, there's invisible platform levels. We never even made it to that. Round 10, oh, 14, I'm in advance, and 18. That's why. I'm like, why are there so many? <laughs> yeah, that's cool. um, advanced, always invisible. Standard, Platforms? platform flashes every four seconds. What is going on? Stop it! Novice, platform flashes every two seconds. Tweak the maximum number of coconuts based on the skill level. Max 16. Novice starts with 5, plus 2 for each additional. Hmm. Standard starts with 9, plus 2 for each additional. Advanced starts with 13, plus 2 for each additional additional platform so advanced gets to max very quick tweak the animal spawn delay for the bonus rounds based on the skill level right into the snake no but i tried to go back oh. um are you jumping the animals it sometimes looks like you're jumping through them what is the guideline for when you run into animal versus you jump over well you have a super watt long uh jump yeah. It's really, really long. So you like it's... jump around corners, which is a little weird when you first start to get used to. I think they're um, asking about the collision. Oh. And I believe it's mostly when you touch the ground. You touch the ground, then you hit the animal, yeah. Yeah. If you're in the air at any point, you're even fine. If, even if it looks like you're going to hit them, as you're long as fine. you're in the air, you're okay. Yeah, so I kind of a... Uh, um, um, a hint, a cheat, or whatever you want to call it, is that if you hold, if you hold down the button, you can continuously jump, and which reduces your chance of getting hit. But it's also very dangerous because you're just jumping, jumping, jumping all over the place. Um, June twenty eighth, fixed a bug where the flashing colors for platforms for invisible levels would be random. Uh, fixed a bug where the reserve count would display garbage data when the reserve count was higher than nine. I'm guessing reserve count on number of players, number of lives. Yeah. Mid jump, you're fine. Yes, that's the word collision. <laughs> uh, that's the same in the arcades, or is it a byproduct of the Atariization process? No, it's um, it is definitely on purpose, um, and it's the same in the arcades. Um, you actually have to use software collision to make it work on the Atari version because Atari has built-in perfect, pixel-perfect collision. And it's actually really, really good. Um, <laughs> oh my god. That was the, that was the controller. Oh, was it stuck? Yeah. Oh no. Oh, that was me. <laughs> No, the controller's been having a few issues lately. So if you don't want collisions... God, look at all these coconuts yeah. on the advanced. Are, ah! you play, are you playing advanced or standard? It's advanced. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> look at the coconuts. 13 coconuts. 13? On, on advanced, yeah. That's insane. And then it maxes out on the second. There you go. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Well, that's better. That's easier to get to her. It's more like the arcade now. Is it? Because the arcade is so much easier to jump up to there. Okay, so if you want to get them all going in the same direction, stay facing that direction. Uh, never mind. Oh, I died. <laughs> never mind. Um, I know what you mean. I know there is a trick to it. Yeah, the animals go around the loop the op in the direction you're facing. Mm -hmm. So if you catch them... And then they come out of the middle, 
they'll they'll run away they'll from run it. away from you yeah so you so can that's, get them going that's a way to get them going in all yeah. the same direction yeah. and that's how the world record holder gets million point oh. jumps uh, I it's highly like, recommend watching the world record holder or, or people who are experts at this game play it. It they, is mind-blowing, like, like most people who are great at these old arcade games, yeah. but it is mind-blowing. They like get up to the lion they... level, and they just get a million per jump. Ugh. Million, million, You're like, that's million. insane. Yeah. My 20,000 just... Uh, but, fixed uh, it so the Zelda bonus on the platform stage is now correct. 5,000 all the way up to 80,000. Changed if you, changed it so you can't get killed by a coconut unless it is in flight, not held. Oh, so, uh, so it, that helps a lot. So you can jump through the monkey now, terrible. even though he's holding a coconut. Mm. Before you would die if he's holding a coconut. Modified the timer on the zoo levels so that is now slightly faster on novice and slightly slower on advanced. Oh, the timer. Okay. Max animals on novice, advanced, and zoo levels are now 12, 14, and 16. There's 16 for all of them before. Back in a bit. Got to go install SSD. I know, I know. <laughs> Gotta install those SSDs. Yes, it is an amazing game, Great Defender. It is incredible what John Shampo is Can do? able to pull out from a, uh, a 2600. Oh, oh too far. Yeah, Advance definitely has a lot, a lot going on. Um, added a no bonus tune, which I don't know if we've heard yet. We'll have to check that out. That is when you don't have any animals in the middle. And you let them all out. Happens more and more on the upper levels. Yeah. And the world record holder, like the really good players, um, they don't bother with the bonus at the beginning stages. They barely even play stage one, actually. Yeah. Um, but on the upper levels, they tend to want to put the creatures inside at the end. Which on the is, upper levels. Yeah, on the, on the higher the levels. Bonus? Yeah, huge bonuses for lions. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's, I can see that's that. That's why they do it. Yeah. Like, it's worth it, I guess, at that point. Um, fix the bug where the sound effects when selecting number of players when play. Uh, change the color of two player on the title screen to be orange. So, this time, uh, let out all the animals. Let on, all out? on Maybe not this stage, but some stage so just let there are a lot of them in, in advance they're very hard to dodge oh don't don't complete it let them all out yeah i don't think you no, they're just too small um player one and player two display during the game is now yellow or orange depending on the player that's nice um, change the title text on the credits high score so they blink, they were yellow. Change the color of the high score header, number, score, round, name so it matches the skill. Change the credit header so they are blue, red, and green, we're all blue. Fixed it so the last high scores and displayed are displayed in the high score screen in yellow and orange until the game options are changed. Change the large score flash color to be more blue for standard skill level, flash is green for novice, red for advanced. Oh, June 30th. Darkened up the orange text for player two. Too similar to yellow on real hardware. So you want me to have no bonus, right? No bonus. I don't, wasn't don't able get to do that, that last time. Pitch. Nice. Do, 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 do. Yeah, Excellent. Nice. Yep. Does John Shambo disassemble the arcade uh, game code to get the physics right? I'm not super familiar with the arcade version, but I've played it before and the jumping animal physics ah. look identical. I asked John Shampo that uh, when I last interviewed him, and amazingly enough, he does not look at the code oh. of any of the games that he really? converts. Not at all. He is just somehow able to oh, um, get the code, like get the physics right, get the uh, feel of the games just right by just watching the games and playing the games and of course getting feedback from people um and people who yep people who know the game really well um so we're right uh here fix the bug okay. sometimes uh, the 
coconuts would get stuck on the side of the screen, fixed it so the lion's score during the end of the level in the second scoring stage stays around longer, changed the end of round message to end of round XX. It was round X complete for rounds 1 to 9, and round R and D XX complete for rounds greater than 10, so the message will be consistent for all rounds. Uh... 2020-0706 added a screen flash when an animal is captured by the net. Oh. Per nice. the arcade. Oh. Increase max number of animals by one every eight rounds for novice and standard skill levels to a maximum of 16. So it's more of a slow ramp up. Mm. Uh, added a congratulations me message so after completing the, the bonus stage. Yep. Flash. Yeah, yeah it does flash. Um, bonus stage round 99. Turn it down a bit, I think. The game ends and continues are disabled. So at 99, you cannot continue. Around 99? Who uh, was testing that out? <laughs> well, you can you can, ah. you can can keep dying and continuing up to oh, round God. 99, right? So. Right. That's true. Yeah, there are oh. way too many coconuts. I just this have to say standard. for advance. Is this standard? Yeah, still a lot of coconuts. It's a lot of coconuts. But if you want to make it like the arcade, it's yeah. going to be it's, it's going to be tough. It's going to be challenging. Oh, God. Yeah. I find on the arcade, on this level, mm. the jump is higher mm -hmm. when you're at the top. Mm -hmm. When you're jumping onto the platform with you her. Can you can jump over coconuts. You can jump over a coconut. Yeah, you're right. Um, I don't. Because we were playing a version on the Xbox 360, I think you had yes. it. Yeah, and, and you can you have more of an arc with I your jumps. I swear I've suggested that before yeah. to John, but maybe I didn't write it down. So let's try this going in one direction animals thing. Okay, so they're all going in one direction. I'm gonna keep facing this direction. Those bastards come out. Nope, there one, we go. one went in the opposite. What? Yeah, because what? it came out through a hole. Oh. Yeah, there's not much you can do about that. No, that's why. Um, it's very hard. The world record holder guy that I watched, oh, wow. he makes a very specific arc around. Yes. Like yeah. he goes like around that's here. Really and then goes like here and fills in a very specific gap so they can't get Escape. through. Yeah. I'm concentrating too much on this building this arc. Yeah, let's try it again. Bonus level, easier to jump cages on novice, more difficult on advance. Good, good. Decrease it was very hard. speed slightly to make him easier to control on the platform levels. Ah. So his speed has been decreased. Bonus score is now displayed when you rescue Zelda on the platform stage. Is it that her name, Zelda? Yep. Um, First save me message is displayed for four seconds and hidden for four seconds on the platform stage per the arcade. Mm. So it's doing a lot of cleanup. Uh, a little clean, yeah. Where it's more close to the arcade. Bonus scores for jumping animals, etc. Greater than or equal to 100,000 will be displayed for twice as long in Flash. So if you get a really, really good bonus. Mm, he wants to show it. Mm -hmm. Fix a bug where Zeke would build bricks when landing after the player 1-2 message is displayed to start the zoo stage. Greetings, Mr. Fix. He should only build bricks when he's moving around the perimeter, not when he oh. lands. That makes sense. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Uh, yep. That is it for all his updates. Oh, See? yeah, you can't jump over the coconuts as easily somehow, but... I am going to find a recording of the arcade just after the show, just to make sure. Like, I should be able to jump over that coconut there. Yeah. Don't sing too much. <laughs> we'll get flagged. <laughs> no. Yeah, you can bear like barely each. jump up. Yeah. Like, oh, oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Got a touch. Can't just land on the platform. It doesn't count if you just land on the platform. Yeah. Oh, damn it! That camel came out. So if Camels I jump are around, fast, man. no, it's not doing the bricks. That's good. My net. No, it's gonna disappear. Oh. You just missed it. There's two elephants there, causing a blurry elephant. Blurry? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Double vision. Ugh. Double vision elephant. Terrible. You should turn pink when that happens. <laughs> no, not continue. Uh, actually, we should continue. Keep going? Yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, I think on this version I can actually set the level too. Um, we'll try that after. We'll do some continues. To get to the lion. Is level. this advanced? Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot of elephants on the first level. It is. It, it is. is. Compared to like uh, the what the novice had one elephant. I'm like <laughs> really. That's it. <laughs> I'm like I can barely jump over him. Like. Read that. Nathan Strum, if you build walls in a certain way, it will force the animals to exit in certain directions. Yes. Yeah. But it won't happen un as you're building them. But if you die no. or grab the net, you can force them all into the same direction. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. They will run away from you. So if they jump out, they will immediately determine the... Yeah, so I'm facing that way. They're all running that way. So yeah. if I go this, this, and then I stand over here, well, well not much time. Yeah. I'll try and demonstrate it. Yeah, on another but level. Um, it makes a lot of sense, and and that's very clearly what the world record holders do. And they take advantage of that. They take yeah. advantage of that to get them going in one direction, so that they can Max maximize every bonus. So uh, on the codex screen, it looks like you approach from the right side. It might be easier to switch over to the left for the final jump with no coconuts. It depends uh. on which side they're throwing from yeah and he tends to throw on the side that you're on so yeah what i've seen a good tactic is to actually go up one side and then switch, switch the last to the second. other at the last second yeah and that does work actually fairly yeah. well i just haven't been doing that it oh. does it everything <laughs> does yeah whoa mad rhinos they're crazy yeah the rhinos the rhinos the camels are pretty fast too yeah, the they, animals they get... come out really fast when they first come out. Oh, yeah. It's very hard to avoid them. So you kind of have to make a safe zone for yourself almost. Yeah. Um, so that you can't get hit by uh, random rhinos. Oh. Too many crazy. things going. It does okay. get crazy after a while. Yeah, the net's right at the end on this one, so that's mm. not going to help. It's going to help if I want to capture the ball. Yeah. So I may want to try for that. Yeah, right at the end. Yeah, so it's but that's hard. It's hard to even do a full turn when it comes at very last. Yeah. Um. It is, because it's not much time left. Mm -hmm. But the timer kind of stops. And also, you, you need the, the box net. filled in. Because you do. Because otherwise, that's you're. That's what I've been trying to do. Oh, here. there it is. Oh. Okay. So the timer actually almost stops. When, as you hit each animal. Oh, you died right before the end. <gasps> well, that was wonderful. Oh, you did get a good score, though. Okay, everybody, go out the other way. Out, out. Yeah, Nathan Strum, if you watch the monkey, he holds the coconut in the hand opposite of the direction he's going to throw it. So oh. you can tell in advance what he's doing. Oh. You can, but he, he definitely does throw it on the side you're on. So, so he's... Po yeah. He gets poised to throw it anyway. Yeah, he so. poises, so you can you can see which way he's going. So you can duck into the other direction before he throws. But honestly, navigating the platforms is challenging enough sometimes, with the coconuts flying around, that um, sometimes you're just on the platform you're on. Mm. Yeah, unless you're an expert. But yeah. yeah. You're doing very well, 80,000. Yeah. I'm doing okay. bonusy thing. Ah, oh, oh. I hit my head. Ooh. Oh, came off. Mm -hmm. So we can continue now. Mm -hmm. Don't want to press no. Next time. Yep, hit it. Oh, we only get... You get three. Continues. Okay. See the little bit of her dress is green? Yeah. It's very weird. Oh, I forgot about this level. I haven't made it to it yet. It's really hard. Why is that so hard to jump over? Because you have to be at the exact right spot. There not you go. Not too close, but not too far. It's like the beginning. Yeah. It's like the leftmost side of oh, oh they, they all just up. flew out. Yeah. Oh they're mo they're Mises. Mises. Mises Canada representing. Yeah. There we go. Oh, they're coming out all over different directions. Oh my goodness, they're insane. Oh my gosh, they're crazy. 
Oh my goodness, there's so there's many of one. them. Ooh, 30,000. Not bad. Not quite the lions, but they're pretty no, good. Oh, here's a big one. <gasps> what was it? I don't know, it didn't say. Oh, it didn't flash. No. That sucks. Too many. Oh, no, no, no. 15. And the moose just destroy the bricks. They just go with they, their antlers. Well, they got antlers. Yeah. <laughs> oh. You would think the rhinos would do more damage than yeah. the moose, but you know. Uh, moose are really big. Not as big as rhinos. Moose, moose are <laughs> massive. If anyone's seen a mo uh, moose in real life, they are huge mammals. They and don't just, even make sense. They're like the, yeah, like like how does this exist? Kind of size. Like yeah. they're they're. And yet, and yet they're very gentle looking. Like they, 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 they're terrifying, but at the same time, they don't look like they're gonna charge you like a rhino. So uh, yeah, yeah. I've seen a moose since the D train. You have. Oh yes, while well, backpacking. Yes. That's frightening. They are. They are big animals. They are really big animals. And bears. Damn it! If you've ever seen a bear. Uh, not up close. I haven't seen any of these big creatures. Side up of the close. road. Side of the road. Oh yeah. Driving through uh, Alberta and Banff, um, or going to Banff, I think we saw one at the side of the road. They are. They are also. They are terrifying. Truly terrifying. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't say a moose is, Happening. A, is a terrifying. Ah. Thing. Oh, that was a good score. Seems continue. To be fixed. Can continue. I know it needs to be like crazy glued in place. Round five plus. Just f bigger than five. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Let's get to the lions. I do not believe I've seen a bear. Depends if it's it's black or brown. But uh, grizzlies are, are pretty... Well, black bears are terrifying too, but <laughs> grizzlies, grizzlies are, are like insane. So. And then polar bears are even worse. Yeah, I've never seen a polar, polar bear. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I, maybe, maybe a sad one in a zoo, but... Uh, oh, not, yeah, those don't count. No. Poor polar bears. Um, oh my god, there's too many creatures! Yeah. Yeah, but, uh, moose are definitely interesting animals. <laughs> Captain Classic, a moose bit my sister once. That must have been quite a, That's quite a, a bite. That's a joke. I've Is it? Heard oh, that okay. Before. <laughs> I've heard, heard that, that, that before, before somewhere. Yeah. If you're in Western Washington, check out Northwest Trek. What is Great happening? Wildlife Park. Plenty of moose. Mm. Moose bites can be painful. <laughs> what is that from? Uh, a moose bit my sister I don't know. Once. Is it like uh, Bob and Doug McKenzie or something? Probably. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> what other crazy animals have I had the uh, pleasure to uh, come across? Sure. Not too many. Few insane squirrels and uh, along the way, but squirrels. other than that, <laughs> yeah, those squirrels, are pretty small. Squirrels without tails. Oh, no, they they look like they're they're doing okay. Where'd their tail go? I don't know. Oh, I think I've got them all in the going in the right direction now. Good. Oh, they're all coming your way. They just need to be like grouped. Clumped. Mind you, they're they get clumpy. Yeah. Oh, because they all run at different <laughs> speeds. They do, it's true. Oh, oh no! Ca caught in the corner. Oh, I have to do the whole level again. Uh. <laughs> ran, ran over my foot in New Orleans. Uh, Monty Python and the Holy Grail. I didn't. Oh, I don't remember that. Really? A moose bit my sister. I don't remember that. <laughs> no wonder it's so known. No uh, the, the the only thing I remember from the the Holy Grail is your father was a what your mother was a hamster and your father smelled of elder elderberries as the French insult as they were trying to storm the castle. So. Oh. Oops. <laughs> That's not good. At our Destroyed it. Ready. How do you skip levels? Mm. Where there was a... It's in the opening credits, but those responsible for the credits have, have been sucked. <laughs> that makes sense. That makes sense. I've seen them at a bear when I did some consulting work for clients in Ontario. Uh, a mining co. Yeah. Oh, I think it's this. Yeah. I can... Yeah, you go up north, you find them. You go to Newfoundland and tons of moose. Dodging them on the streets. Let me get the extra levels. 
the university I went to was in like a valley with a protected park and uh, we had tons of deer so the campus was just crawling with deer day and night and you just see them like chewing on trees all the time which was really cool um, but they had a lot of uh, foxes like red foxes which were really um, cute. really cute and but you'd see them like darting across roads and things like that which is a little terrifying but uh, there was a lot of beautiful wildlife in this Nathan, little, little park. I forget how to access uh, a higher menu, higher levels. Nathan must know. <laughs> how do we do it? We apologize for the continuing issues with the opening credits. <laughs> Those responsible for sacking the people who made the credits have also been sacked. So I want to get to the lion level. Like there's some way to get there. Mm. But I forget. Mm. And I'm pretty sure it has something to do with the difficulty switch on A and then some combination of things. But I can't get it. No idea. I haven't been using the cheats. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, well you just play. I will play. And I'm going to look it up. See if I have it in my older notes. I'm pretty sure I do. Zookeeper. Okay. So it doesn't start completely black. Completely black? the last time we played this was on April 5th, 2020. Nice. April bonus. 5th, there we go. Oh, bonus. I'm on standard, not advanced, but... Uh... Yeah. Um... Oh no, that was for playing it on a. Ah. Oh, damn it. When's the last one? When's the last time we actually played this? Oh lord. Oh, the coconuts. The coconuts. So many coconuts. Is it me or are they going weird? What? what They're is going weird back about and them? forth. Have they always been going back and forth? Yeah, bouncing back and forth. No, yeah. the the platforms. They go back and forth. I thought they always went in one direction. They are. No, they weren't. See, oh, they just they reversed. They reversed. Am I crazy? Is that no. normal? Oh, that's interesting. Is that different? I Unique think to, it is. To novice, maybe? Uh, I didn't read anything about it in the list of changes. Zookeeper. Uh, zookeeper, Harmony Games, Zookeeper, 0311. Okay. Oh. 2020-03-11. There we go. Zookeeper. Zookeeper notes. Oh. Where is... Terrible. On harder settings, they reverse. Okay. Mm. So on novice, they don't. <laughs> Trying to find the level select. Oh, 
did find it. If you want to use the continue or skip level cheat, you have to have the right difficulty in the A position, which now I do. But that turns off the flashy bricks, makes them solid and weird looking. So you can disable the flashing bricks if you don't like the flashing bricks. It does make it look not as interesting. But I'm gonna try that after your game. I can't see! You're trying to kill me! Sir! You made it. You made it. Barely. Gotta go. Bye, S. Ramirez. Barely. Yeah, there is a demo version of this game out, so you can download the demo version if you want to play it. And with her last night breath, she said, Rosebud. Not Rosebud, but coconuts. <laughs> coconuts. <laughs> coconuts. <laughs> it's always about the coconuts. Those coconuts. Yep. Is she playing on standard? Yeah. Okay. Thought it might be. Ah! Might be easier. I'm doing it a little bit better. I can't find exactly how to use the skip level cheat, but I think I might have found a hint for it, so. This zookeeper's pretty agile for a dude who's constantly chugging beers and eating ice cream sundaes. Yeah, yeah. Well, the thing is, he jumps a lot, so he needs to keep up his caloric intake. Yeah, agreed. So he's got the watermelons, he's got the oh, ice cream sundaes. Oh, oh, there's so many. There are. He's got a lot of stuff because he's just running constantly. He, he, I mean, he's maintaining a pretty poor zoo. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, he he is not a very competent zookeeper, let's say. Well, you, he uses these bricks that oh, snakes God. can push over. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like. They it's, must be made of styrofoam. They must, like, d dissolve in rain. Like, <laughs> yeah, they're really terrible well, that bricks. That was better than 56. is not terrible try for and, me. Um... <laughs> Coconuts. Hmm? See that for a second? Hmm? I'm going to be right back. Get those cats. I know. How do I get? Can't seem to get the skip level sheet. Okay. Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna play one more game on novice. Try and get to the lions. Tanya's really good at this. I'm terrible when I tried and could not complete the bonus level. I think a lot of people I I have read in the forums have a lot of trouble with the bonus level. It is not simple. There are a lot of coconuts flying around. And the jumping is very floaty compared to a lot of games out there, but play the arcade game. It is it is floaty. It's it's exactly like this. So it's a, a matter of just getting used to the feel of how floaty it is. Let's get that snake. Uh, did I get it? Yep, got it. So after this, we're going to see. Like if you jump, there, there's a lot of horizontal movement that is possible. So if I stayed on the right and then jump up on the left, it's a lot easier. Or opposite. Oh, you've got a gray cat. He actually came to me. Oh, well, maybe I he'll kind stay. Of, I kind of yelled at Atari, and, and he was already walking down the stairs. So. Oh, hi, kitty. Hi. Oh, hey. Oh, no. I think he's hot. I think it's quite warm. Well, you can, can stay you on the see floor him? there. You can see him a little bit on the floor there. Oh, my God. Don't be there. <laughs> Shifted him over? Yeah. Oh, poor pliable Show him on, the, show him on the cat cam. Yeah. It's both the Atari cam and the Atari cam. Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> yes. Not watching when it's running oh, out. He's totally, he's just like, yeah, I'll just stay here. <laughs> he's, he's quite just, warm, so I think he was sleeping. He's using the second controller. Yeah. Yeah. He it's, likes the Genesis. It's not plugged in, but he thinks he's playing. Yeah. He's like, you get that snake. Get those snakes. Yeah. Rawr. I'd be a little scared if he ever came across a snake. Yeah. Um, 
he would probably get there. As long as it wasn't um, poisonous. Well, that's what I mean. He would probably be like, ooh, this is Or a venomous. Toy. Yeah. Either one of those. Yeah, I've only ever seen him play with uh, that. No! He oh, went he right, right for right me! for you. That's so unfair. Cheap. Cheap. Cheap death. Cheap death. Yeah. We're going to put a back. Figured you'd be playing ice hockey by now. No, we love Zookeeper. Yeah. <laughs> I could play this all stream. So much fun. It is such a good game. But this is the last game, and then we're going to be playing this. Okay. We're going to be playing uh, two-player first on ice hockey. Yeah. And then I'm going to be going for the gold. The gold. It's one of the easiest games to get your patch on, apparently. Mm. But it's very fun. It's a really, really good arcade style um Hockey game, two on two. The D, the D train. There are no cheap deaths, only cheap players. <laughs> <laughs> that might be true. <laughs> oh, what? what is this? It's only one level. Oh, they, he's changed it. Is this it. novice or is yeah, it standard? Yeah, novice. Novice. I don't think I've ever seen it with just one level. That's funny. Must be in the new oh, changes. Oh, you got the Mises. Uh. The Mises. Are you trying to get to some lines? Yeah. Yeah. Just that's at good. least once. Yeah. I think I can. And continues with novice. Oh, you're going to end. end. Already at the... Oh, Mises! Mises. 15,000! That was a very good I job. I think I got a pretty good score once. Yes, uh, on, oh. the th on the Xbox version, I think we were playing. Yeah, on the Lions. Yeah. I jumped like a ton at once. Playing this game just makes me want to, like, play it more. <laughs> yes. Try to try to get, get a really good score. Okay, they're all going to come out in the right direction now. There okay, you go. You guys. There we go. Oh, another mouse. Get him. Oh, one's Ooh. going in the wrong direction now. Look at this score. You're doing really well. How are they getting back in? Are there new uh, Mises being yeah, created? Yeah, you get up to 16, I think. Oh. So even at novice, it eventually goes as high as 16. Look how insane! Ah, Look how insane this game the is. The timer's so slow yeah. on this level. So slow. It takes forever to get through this level. Okay, everybody go out that way. Out that way. Oh, they're breaking through there. Stop it! No, the Mises. I have to contend with chaos now. Go for big open spots. Try and survive. Such a long level. Mm. Finally. Look at your score. Lion time. <gasps> oh, Can you hold in the lion? Because that's a new tune. <gasps> Look at the lions. They're Rawr. awesome. Our cats think they're lions. Well, oh. Pixel thinks he's a lion. Atari. He's a he's like a leopard. Mm. Or a, Look at know. that. Good score. He is a novice. <laughs> Still. It doesn't ah. matter. Oh, well. oh we no. We made it to come. lions. Yeah. That's what I wanted to do. Well, you got to see the lions. Yeah. Time for some hockey. Plug in the mm. Hi. Plug in the Captain Classic says 1982. Yeah. Golden Age for arcade releases? Question mark. Zookeeper, Zaxxon, Miss Pac-Man, Dig Dug, yeah. Donkey Kong Jr., Pengo, Mr. Do. Wow. Hubert, Tron, Time Pilot, Burger Time, Joust, Jungle King, Moon Patrol, Pole Position, Robotron 2084, Gravatar, Zebus. That's a good lineup. Okay. Atari's less a lion than a pillow. Yes. <laughs> it's more of a pillow. I He's a very soft pillow. Agree. He is more of a pillow. We always call them tiger in line, though, because it's Pixel has the big mane. Fluffy. And, and uh, you know, Atari, he's not too stripy, but he is he is um, a tatty cat. Yep. You can see a little bit of the stripe in him. Okay, ready? I don't, I've never played this game before, so I do it. Um, I am yellow. Okay. You are blue. You just have to touch the puck to 
get it. No, you just press the button to pass it. And you can also press the button to... Yeah. Even though I think I was in the crease, but that's okay. Oh, there's very low rules in this one. Um, you can also check the player by pressing the button if you don't have the puck. Oh my god. How am I going to beat the computer? <laughs> And it automatically switches players. Oh, yeah, it does. Depending yeah. on how close That's you are to the impressive. puck. pretty impressive. Oh, and the, and the players look great. Wait, that's... Go. Stay. Oh, Get it. That makes sense. Yeah. Oh, passed the wrong direction. Oh, come on, person. No! Yeah. yeah, you can use rebounds. Ah. You're going to shut me out? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> maybe you should go for the patch. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Oh, oh it, it's yes, not... Yes, finally. You know what? I, I keep thinking I'm controlling the other player, but I'm not. because. No, no, no. You only control one. The other guy just stands there. Yeah. Like a lump. He's a lump. <laughs> Until it's time for him to wake up he's got very good uh puck hang handling skills see why am i not moving all of a sudden when i when i shoot it i'm oh, not moving you're on the floor that's why, why. am i on the floor because you got i don't know you got hit checked? by me yeah i got checked Did by you, me oh you can't check the goalie what the heck kind yes, of ice hockey game this is <laughs> checking the goalie you can no you can't goalie can check me too oh no, oh, get back in the goal. I don't, I'm pretty sure that's not allowed. Oh, and you checked me. <gasps> yes! What Break the away! Hell? Oh no! How can I get so far away from the goal? I, I don't you get that. You moved him down. No, I didn't! I was controlling the other guy. How is that even possible? You moved him down at some point. No! <laughs> Sometimes you gotta play a defensive and sometimes you gotta play <laughs> offensive uh, you get it uh, oh. oh yes open no no get back in the net <sighs> pass it up to me no oh, why, he's in the why clear. is he out of what is what is he doing out of the net what's wrong with this dude at some point you yeah no <laughs> If Tanya won the patcher, she's putting him on the jacket or a sash. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh, bad move. Oh, man. Oh, you can't really control the direction no. of it all that well, so. Oh, That's time's it. out. You won. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> If you cannot beat Atari on game one of hockey, do you have to give up your Canuck card? <laughs> yes. Pretty much. Uh, well, you're going for the the patch, right? Yeah, all you have to do is beat the computer. Okay. That's it. Is the computer By hard? What? Oh. Uh, no. But I'm probably going to lose anyway. <laughs> who am I? Oh, I'm blue. Maybe I should know who I'm playing. Who I am first, eh? Okay, first of all, keep your goalie in the crease never a good idea it's it's a little it's a little slow on the pass off like from person to person why is who what is happening here <laughs> why were my guys at the bottom can i reset yeah. <laughs> reset rage <laughs> no I, I was very confused uh, the puck leaves the stick based on where it is as it's moving back and forth yeah left versus right yeah you you get you do get the hang of it but it's not you're not really controlling the puck in a way yeah, that's you, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, good, jo good job. <laughs> good job. <laughs> that's you. You scored, right? Yeah, good job. Yay! <laughs> Yay! No! No! Oh, don't let him get it past you! Oh, you found the, you found <laughs> found the cheat. Loophole. You found the cheat. Oh, oh no. no, he got it from you! No! no he smacked me. Get up there. Get it. Nope. 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 Oh, 
hole. You can't let him get past you. He's really good at scoring. He's not good at defense. He's very bad at defense. Yeah. Very bad at defense. You just have to win the face off. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh no. Oh, you got him. Get give me the puck. Oh my god. No, no. No, 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 no. Get it. Yeah. Oh, come on. Where's the ref? <laughs> There's no ref. It's lawless. <laughs> lawless hockey. <laughs> it's a very high scoring hockey game, too. Oh my god. Yeah, it is. No! I don't know how to play defense. I know how to get it in the goal. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes. No! Yes, you pass it back here. Yeah, it's the passing off. It should be passing what off the to the hell? other. I don't know why. Yeah, sometimes it's a little weird as far as flipping back and forth between players, but. 8-8. Eight, eight. No! <gasps> Good job. No, get up, get up, get up, get up. No, stop smacking me. <laughs> no. Oh, come on. <laughs> no, no. No, what the hell? He stole it from me. <laughs> oh, I'm going to lose now. Oh no. How come I can't get it from him? What is it? Yeah, it's it's very hard to knock it away. I don't really know what you do to do that. You can do it. Come on, I know you can. You win you still have a minute. Just win the face off. You're screwed if you don't win the face off. See Oh no. I Stay in your goal. Stay in your goal. Don't, don't. There don't you come go. Out. Don't yeah. come out. I feel like he's getting past you, he is. which is not good. Oh, oh. God, he got to it first. No. No. I was trying to pass it down. There we there go. There you go. Okay. Switch. Oh. <gasps> you knocked him down. How did you do that? Oh, oh no. Come on. Get it? Okay, switch. Yeah. 18 seconds. You can do it. It's a... <laughs> Nine seconds. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> no! 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 Two, Two seconds! No, one. let him score! Don't let him score! Yeah! Oh. Winner! <laughs> yeah, that was easy. You just have to beat the computer? Yes. A terrible win! <laughs> I got my patch. What a nail biter. <laughs> Get your stick above his, just, above just. his hand. <laughs> Welcome to the easiest Activision patch. Yes, we hear well, Thank you. I gladly accept this easiest <laughs> Activision patch on my first ever game of, I mean, of, of ice of hockey. Ice hockey. <laughs> I have played it, but not against the computer. I think I always played it against Corey. Mm. Yeah. I need to drag Corey over here once uh, pandemic uh, rules. Uh, yeah. Is up. Yeah. Play some ice hockey. Bridge. bridge. <laughs> is there a bridge patch? don't know if there's a bird there's a checkers patch now <laughs> and a boxing patch nice that i've written up yeah i finished writing the boxing patch letter um i have to write the checkers letter now mm -hmm. um okay now you play against mm -hmm. the computer now i'm gonna be terrible i'm much more focused when um oh 
There you go. Pass it. Oh. You had it. You had it. You had yeah, it. Yeah, but he caught it from me. There you go. You got it. 1716J. Oh. Now I can read out the world records for this game, which are insane. Oh, insane. Like, as far as the total score? Oh, no. come on. The records counted as how many goals above the other team you Oh, have. come on. You totally it. I didn't. You, you went on, Lies. on the wrong side of it. Oh. So there's two uh, places that the scores are held. Um, one is on highscore.com and one's on Twin Galaxies. The highscore.com is a 31 point difference. Come on. How are you supposed to get it away from him? 31 point difference by Arena Foot. Nice. Which is. A, oh, God. Oh, you're too close. Oh, come on. Um, and on Twin Galaxies, it's a 45 point difference. And that was. What, what are you doing standing there? No, because he was on the ground. Oh, but you were just still standing there then. Oh, you were on the ground. I was on the ground. Okay. Ugh. There you go. You got it. Ugh. The way I do it is I switch my stick to the other opposite side of his stick. Ah, oh, that makes a lot of sense. So that he can't get it from me. <laughs> the final game one of the Western Hockey League Championship Cup is 1716. Yeah. Go for the Star Master patch. Yeah, which one should I go for next? I do I did get some patches recently um that I should go for. Oh, come on. Um why does it do that? I already got my Spider Fighters and I got there. my Trail Drive, which is Stampede. Um this is going to be a non patch a non-regular show patch. Um, so I think I calculated it. It takes a half an hour to get this patch. The laser blasters. Nobody wants to watch that. And it's it's not even exciting to watch. Oh, you let him have it. Switch sides uh, with your hockey stick and then... No, I know how to do it. I <laughs> don't need... <laughs> don't I don't need you to tell me. <laughs> We'd like to thank our oh, sponsors. Oh, see, that's Al, Ali that's Russo obnoxious. for supplying the Atari. Uh, Nathan Strum for fixing the. Uh, oh, yeah. good one. Good steal. I'm for fixing I'm... my RGB. Oh, he got me. And ActivisionPatches.com for the patch I bought from them. Oh, he got, knocked me down. Alabats and Shopper Star Mart. Uh. <laughs> So which patch should I go for next? What do I have left? Let's see. Um, there are ones that I've tried and failed. There's some that are going to be totally tedious to watch. I was thinking of maybe Dolphin. Does anybody know how hard Dolphin is to get the patch? Is it like super hard? What is the weirdest Activision game? Uh, Wink's pretty weird. Uh, yeah, oh. Wink is pretty weird. Oh, tied. Tied. Uh, tied. Think you can do better? Mm, I'll do another game. Okay. It's a little repetitive, unfortunately. We'll play one after this. Oh, because we'll both have practice. Yeah. Is there a Ghostbusters patch? No, there isn't, unfortunately. Um. Oh. And there's no uh, Kung Fu Master patch either. That would have been awesome. So they kind of had a sweet spot where they didn't offer patches for some games at oh. first, and they didn't offer patches for later games. There you go. Pass it up. Got it. Is that a breakaway? <laughs> you can tell uh, our... Um... <laughs> oh, he got it from me. There was a competition um, on the Atari Age forums, High Score Club, and Nathan suggested that uh, we try and get some scores better than that. Um, the highest scoring game on that list is 51 to 4, which actually beats no the world record. Oh, this is why. You can't win a game if your controller isn't plugged in. Amazingly enough, 
the computer is acting terribly. It was playing terribly. It was just dancing in front of the, the goal going... Mm, mm. Um, and uh, Nathan got 35 to 1, so he had a 34-point difference. It's funny, I see these scores in the high score club, and they never submit them to the world record. Um, the world record websites, even though they just destroy some of the world records. Some people, some people are just not, not interested in that. Not too hard once you learned how to jump the seahorses. Okay. So, because Dolphin's really interesting. It's actually got two patches, yeah. You guys need to invent patch levels and patches for the later games. Yeah, I think we should. We just go through after... We, I mean, it's going to take a long time to get through all the Activision games. There you go, that's my trick. It works sometimes. I, I would say 90% of the time. Mm -hmm. I found it was pretty If you good. have control of the puck. Yeah. Oh, you got it. Get it. Pass it. Oh, no. Pass it. He passed it right back to you. You're no. playing a game of pass. Ah. Oh. Oh. There you go. You don't always have control. Nice. I love Laser Blast and Chopper Command. In fact, I have almost all Activision games. I really love the 2600 lineup. Oh. Activision games are probably the most solid oh, for me. company for just if you wanted to collect all the games from a company, Activision, you can't really go wrong. There's very few bad games. There's some that are like, eh, they're fine, they're repetitive, but they're still well made. Like, they're all really well made. Twin Galaxies is not that reputable. Eh. It costs to get on with Twin Galaxies? You have to pay to put your score up there? Oh my yeah. god. That seems... Really? That seems weird. There's a lot of scores listed on Twin Galaxies. And Magic games were really, really solid too. Fishing Derby is bad in my eyes. Uh, I don't think I've ever played Fishing Derby. Well, technically there's a patch for Fishing Derby now. Right? Was there a patch? Was that one of the patches? The funny patches? Right. Yeah, it's a Fishing Derby patch. Did they ever declare what you had to get in Fishing Derby? That's this one. The Master Bader patch. <laughs> but for Fishing Derby. Um, oh, 11, 11! Oh, no, again! It's okay. I'm good. Sadly, I don't need the patch. <laughs> sadly, I uh, can't get this patch anymore. The You Suck one. Oh, I love the You Suck. That's me. Because you have to fail at every patch. I think I failed at every patch. Have I gotten any of them? I don't think so. Don't maybe one, but maybe I don't know. Maybe one. I feel like I could get this if I oh. give it a, an, another couple of goes, but yeah. I'm not, I'm not, I don't care about the patches. I was in, I was a girl guide. <laughs> you got didn't patches. care about the patches then either. So. I didn't try for too many patches. Either. I just wanted to camp. Yeah. That was, that was my, my, my motivation the for, for. Oh, you've got um, it bent again. Yeah, I think you press that. too hard on the joystick. I love pressing I never, hard on the joystick. I never. I feel like, like if I push harder, it's gonna go harder. It's going to go in my favor, but we, but it never does. Okay, so. so I am yellow. I'm gonna give you a chance. Okay. What? what? Oh. See, there's such a slow. <laughs> slash, 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 slash. No. <laughs> what? How come we could barely? Oh, get it over like it to me. Gets... Oh, get up. Oh, I have to get it down there. Get it down there. Get it down there. Yes. Oh. <laughs> no. Oh, come on. No! Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Get it, get no, it. Get no, it. no, no. <laughs> yes. Oh. Try game three. Game three is faster, right? Oh, I'll no. Just take that. that was not fair. 
<laughs> Not even fair. remotely fair. You made a oh, mistake. come on! Uh-huh. You want it? I'm right here. Why don't you just <laughs> come and get me? No, you can just sit there for the, the three <laughs> minutes. Right around here. No! <laughs> so hard to defend. It is. It is hard to defend. Oh! Get it. Get it. No. Yeah, come I think on. You're better at defense than me. I think you're right. But I'm not very good at offense, oh, so it's we're, it. we're, we end up being pretty balanced. Get it up there. Yes! No! No! Haha, <laughs> 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 you suck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now I'm winning. <laughs> Get it up. Oh, yes. No. Yes, yes, yes. No, 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 no. Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> it might be the most fun I've seen you guys play. <laughs> it's such a good game. It's so good. Like just oh, come on. just the simplicity. No! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We go get it to me. No, Thank no, you. no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, it's so funny. And the fact that it's only oh. two people oh, no. on the ice, I you know. have to make a choice. Are you going to be defense? You're going to play offense. Yeah, it's true. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, you stay there. You, it's it's, you it's, come it's out a your shame goal? that, um, yes. oh, see, that's completely unfair. Oh, what? I didn't even touch the joystick and it was on my puck. Yeah, I, I think it, um, I think it, oh, see, sometimes it looks like it's in your possession and it absolutely is not, <laughs> yes. which is really annoying. Um, oh. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh. oh, you did beat me that time, so. That's a 1-1, one, one, is playing trap hockey. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is a faster version, two-player. Two player? Yeah. It's a different level? It's uh, faster. Puck like, goes faster. Oh. I think we move faster too. I don't know. It, it's, Puck it is still definitely has faster. the issues with them. Um... You need to get your goalie back in there. I know. <laughs> You're playing him pretty forward. Get up! <laughs> what is he doing? I don't know, but uh, on the ice there. he's like, I'm not a goalie. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh! Oh, what? Oh. There's no way that shouldn't have ended up. Yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, go, go, go. Oh. Yes! Oh, oh the goalie that's scores! That's completely unfair because uh, <laughs> I didn't get control of my goalie. Hey, yeah, yeah, that's true. I didn't get control of my goalie yes. at all. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Oh. Oh, it didn't Thank make you. That. Oh my god. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh. Yes, and oh, damn it. Oh my god. See, where is the oh cross checking? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> no. I almost scored it myself there. Yeah, it's I like the faster version. It is a lot more intense. No! Oh! <laughs> Slick ice. Oh. Thank you. I'll just <laughs> Thank move you. up just enough so that I can rest for a second. <laughs> oh, you coming out? Okay. <laughs> yep. You want to come up and play? <laughs> I, I want to switch controllers. I, I, I blame the controller. I wasn't even playing then. I'm sorry. It's you can score unfair. one on me. No, it's okay. okay. <laughs> well, you did anyway. Uh... Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> nope. Stop. <laughs> I love that point where you stop the other. The other person just stops dead. Yes. <gasps> it is hard to defend. It is. It's like I'm just smashing the button, which is probably not the best. <sighs> oh, come on. Oh. Yes. Oh. Move! Get in your goal! Oh, come on! 
No. Yeah. Way to go, goalie. <laughs> Oh, good save. No, 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 no. Yeah. I was trying to get it to pass it, but. Oh, it, I yeah, I wish I could control where it's going a little bit more. That's hard. It yeah. is. If this were real hockey. <laughs> totally different. No. Yeah. Goalie scores. <sighs> no. No. <laughs> Eight, eight, 25 seconds to go. Oh, oh. no. Yes. Oh, you know what I realized? You can't hit the button. You can't hit the button when you're the goalie. You just have to run into the person. What? Otherwise, yeah. Oh. Otherwise, uh. And he's going for it. The goalie's been pulled. No, he hasn't. <laughs> <laughs> eight seconds. Oh, you're going to be. I pulled me. my goalie. You pulled your goalie. <laughs> Canadians playing hockey. <laughs> uh, How many have I attempted? Probably 15. <laughs> These are over tools. Slick ice, yeah, exactly. Um, car! <laughs> car. How many have I attempted? Patch. Okay, ice hockey, which I've got. Starfire, which I have not got. I got kind of close. Uh, Spaceman Splorf, which is a homebrew, which I did get the low patch, not the high patch of 8,000. Yeah, the, the second player activates automatically. Mm, yeah. No, you don't toggle it on and off. It And, and so sometimes there's a, there's a big delay and it's a little frustrating because you can't immediately go to the puck. It's paused. It's like frozen for a while until you can actually go across so. you can see the list yeah on, on um it's neat though on how many i've attempted you've, you've attempted quite a few and you've yep. earned a few so i'll just say the one I, I've earned. i am gonna get the, the zero page sash up and running no it's gonna happen uh i'm just saying i've earned frostbite i'll make one for erlin and darcy too stampede keystone capers freeway river raid uh mega mania pitfall Sky Jinx, Robot Tank, uh, Skiing, Tennis, Sequest, uh, and then this one. Mm. So 14 yeah. patches I have so far. Not in my possession, because some of those are very expensive. <laughs> very, very expensive. Like hundreds of dollars. No, <laughs> not right now. Um, so, yay! Another Good patch. Job. One game. It's Enjoy that. Excellent. I love, excellent. I love two player One games. One or two player game. I think, you know, you can play against the computer and that's fine, but I love games you can play with other people. Yeah, that's, that's more fun. Those are the best games. Um, do you not really toggle the scar? Oh, yeah, you already yeah. answered that. Mm -hmm. um, and I have s attempted about five or six that I haven't beaten. And they're hard, hard ones. Mm. Some of them I'm like, I don't know if I'll ever get them. But most of them I got like close-ish to get the patch. Hmm. But it's that extra, you know, 25% more or 10% more that the difficulty is so high. So high. Hmm. Um, so coming up next episode, and I say next episode because I'm working on Tuesday. Um, so you're not entirely sure if you're going to be able to do it on Tuesday. There is no, it's not happening on Tuesday, okay. actually. Yeah, yeah. If I can get a show together planned, it will be on Wednesday. Mm. If I can't get it planned on time, it'll be Friday. So we might have to skip the, the first show of this next coming week because mm. I've got a lot of things to plan for my work <laughs> that I'm doing on Tuesday. Yeah, no, and that's I, fair. And I this takes. A little bit of time to, yeah. to, to get it done, yeah. to get things in order and get my notes and all that stuff yeah. and do the graphics. And yeah. it's fun to watch you guys battle it out. <laughs> yeah. That was yeah. probably the most intense two player game we've ever played. <laughs> yeah. We're like trash talking each other. Yeah. We, did we get to that point? And, and I think, wow, well, it's not a homebrew, but that's almost, I'd want to play that in our four player um, when we have every this all four game? people here. 
Yeah, but it's not homebrew, so it doesn't really. No, count. no, we can we can still play it if we do a marathon and we have all four. Yeah, forty-two subscribers. It's a good one for a marathon. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. is because it's just a fun, and you can do two people two, can play two, off. two, and then can, yeah. the winner. Yeah, yeah, three rounds, chopper commandos, chopper command patch. That is, um, that's a possible. I haven't attempted that one yet. Um, that uh, I don't know how hard that one is. If, I know some of them are just brutally hard. <laughs> some of them are really easy. I've mm -hmm. done a mix back and forth, and I knew this one was easy, even though I didn't do very well. Only 10,000, but what does that mean? <laughs> uh, there is a Mega Mania patch. It is one of the more expensive patches to buy. <laughs> well, still. Um, <laughs> you can still earn it. <laughs> did I earn it? I think I did. Mm. I did. Uh, I just beat it on... Um, July 26, 2019. Mm. And it's like $250 US to buy that patch. It's a very cool patch, though. Mm. Uh, yeah, 45000 It's not too hard, the Mega Mania patch, but I love Mega Mania. It's a shooter. so And I played it a ton, a ton mm. um, in the 90s and before that, too. Um, but I have only one game planned for next show, Shifty Lifty. So I could just go for, like, easy pickings that I can don't need to do much research on mm. and throw in another patch too. Yeah. Um, that's an easy one to do because I don't need to do any, almost any research for patches. It's very, very easy. You just throw it in and play. Yeah. yeah. Find out high scores. Yeah. Find out some background. Oh, I didn't do something. <laughs> um, there's a commercial um, for ice hockey. Oh, really? Yes. And nice. it's good. Yeah. And that's why I wanted to actually show it. I kind of just jumped into the game without uh, going well, through we my wanted, notes. Well, we wanted to play, so. Yeah. So let me cue that up for everybody who has not seen the commercial for ice hockey. Oop, don't play it. Don't play it. Mute is off. Good. I don't want to blast anybody's ears. Hopefully it's not too loud. Ready? Do you have ice hockey by Activision? I think you're ready for it. <laughs> One of the roughest video games around for your Atari game system. Ready to battle for the puck? Well. To inflict fierce body checking. Yeah. Furious stick checking. Yeah. Ruthless tripping. Yeah. You really think you're ready for all that? I'm ready. I'm ready. What? As you charge. I thought you by activation! <laughs> <laughs> and that's Phil Hartman? That's Phil Hartman. Holy crap, that must commercial. be before SNL. Uh, yeah, it would have been. This, because SNL was like early 90s? This is 81. Wow! The game came out in. So let's one, see when Phil Hartman was on SNL. It was early 90s. It was, well, late 80s, early 90s, I think. Uh... 86. So 86, was, okay. He Late wasn't 80s. on Saturday Night Live till like five years after that. Wow. Yeah. That was the heyday. <laughs> that was when, when I was of the age that I think they're SNL overselling was it. the funny I don't know if they are overselling it. Ah, it's for a, the time. For the time, it would have been <laughs> it unbelievable. It would have been pretty amazing. Like, really, like it's like, incredible now. So think about that the, in 81. The concept of passing off the puck to two players on the screen. And checking. There and was, checking th there's just there wasn't anything is, like that is pretty impressive like mm -hmm. i think that's i think it's pretty cool like jack black in the pitfall commercial <laughs> yeah exactly yeah yeah a lot yeah. of people get their start a lot yeah. of actors get their start in commercials it's still it's still a totally dynamic fun game to play so yeah yeah no, um that whole concept the passing off switching players i didn't read any of my notes it was made by alan miller it's a 4k <laughs> game who also did basketball chase checkers hangman ice hockey robot tank Mm. I don't know what slepping is. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Star Master Surround and Tennis, which is also an excellent tennis game. Mm. Um, yeah, let me just read the reviews from when it came out. And it does talk a little bit about... Oh my god, why is that link not good? Okay. Did you mean Ice Hockey Atari 2600? Yes, I did. Um, <laughs> the Reception. Um... Proves that cleverly conceived sports simulations can work on the Atari VCS. Mm. 
Reviewers identified several aspects setting ice hockey apart from other contemporary sports games, including the ability of players to take actions that would normally result in penalties, e.g. <laughs> e tripping and slashing. Yes. <laughs> and the fact that the game is both playable, both solo and versus, because a lot of games back yeah. then were not AI. They're not both. And it's a pretty decent AI. I just, I just, the, again, the whole idea of passing off to different players, even though there's this, great. this annoying lag between them, which obviously, but like the, the hockey games that came later all employ that. Like you play, yeah. you control a player and then you switch to another player and it like switches but a lot of the new you ones, know. you can. You, there's so many more buttons. You can select the yeah, other players. Like but this I mean, could have done a double tap. But a lot like of tap tap, and you change. A lot players. of games subsequent to that, whoever the puck was closest to, you suddenly control that oh, player. Yeah. Like that would just make sense. Yeah. So yeah, it's very cool. Champ games, ice hockey. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> I can't imagine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Has he said anything about ice hockey? I, don't I know, know baseball. Baseball, yeah. Yeah. So that's that's going to be one of his first ones but mm. i can see him doing hockey for sure like a um a horizontal scrolling mm. oh, that's a lot harder but um yeah tap to pass hold to shoot mm. you kind of oh you could hold down the button to switch players that would work because you want a pretty fast yeah. shot you don't want to have to hold to shoot i think mm. there's a proof of concept that he's done Oh, there is. Okay, ah, that's excellent. So cool. We'll have the hockey uh, episode at some point. Yeah, I guess we will. <laughs> yep. That's more up our alley, though. The demo was vertical, if I remember. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That, it's, yeah. it's much easier to do vertical. Yeah. yeah. Than horizontal, because horizontal is like... Yeah. Verticals, you can scroll like crazy and make it look super awesome. Mm -hmm. And the lines for the um, different parts of the arena mm -hmm. will be able to... Or the ice... Um, are much easier to do as well horizontally, horizontal. vertically they have to be thick and close yeah. yeah makes sense hockey episode equals the nhl mm -hmm. yeah well it might be a while till we get hockey from uh champ <laughs> uh, we'll see we'll see how that goes uh so thank you for hanging out yeah it's great uh, it was great a good friday game. evening lots um, of fun yeah quite Quite a good lineup of games. Let's I enjoyed a... all of them. Yes. They were all a lot of fun. RC Sumo Bots. Yes. Um, really good. Just a little bit of tweaking in terms of the power, uh, relative power. Yes. Of the two players. Yeah, it's 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 definitely imbalanced, but like the concept, it works oh, really well. Wonderful. And I, lo I love the eyes in it and the directionality yeah. and the thrust. And the is maps. Yeah. Working really well. They just, they're, in, they're a little bit imbalanced. So. Uh, yeah. So Robotron 2018. Gorf yeah. Arcade. Yeah, I think that's his next big one. Um, after Oh, is it? Yeah. Zookeeper and then What's it? What's the other one? Oh my god, there's so many. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. There's many. There's many, many, many coming. Mm -hmm. Um uh because it's there, uh interesting mechanics with the ladder and the platform to get yeah. across. Yeah, very cool. Um Zookeeper is obviously magic uh, and amazing and super hard mm -hmm. and challenging, but really amazing looking. And Ice Hockey, of course, another Activision classic. Let's get that cat up here. Oh, Say goodbye. Yeah, he was just Hi. on the floor. If you come pet him see. enough, he, he kind of forgets that he wants to leave. Yeah. Come Hi. Here, come oh, you're manhandling him. I know. There we go. There we go. You're nice. okay. He's very sleepy right now. And yeah. uh, so thanks Bye. for hanging out, Mr. Fix. Uh, Jared Gray West. Yeah. Nathan Strum, D Train 37. He's purring. Arena Foot, He's purring. Dan He's ABC. Happy. He likes oh. hockey games. Metal Learner 7. Yeah. Um, Captain Classic, Miss, Miss Command. Command. Uh, Metal Atari 1969, the D Train 37. Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Oh, there are same people talking, talking, talking. Yeah. Jupiter Storm. Jupiter Storm 17. I had to run out. And yeah, that is good. Go back to bed, Atari. Good <laughs> show, fun. Yeah, great for the people stuck around for hockey. They got some entertainment. Yeah, yelling. It, it was pretty quick. <laughs> it was pretty quick. Yeah. Not a hard game, which is good. No. Nope. Um. Uh. So that's it. Uh. I'm gonna try and get a show for Wednesday, but I can't promise. Yeah. So check your local listings. It will. De you'll definitely have a um Darcy on Friday, oh, yeah. right? Yeah. Hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah, I'll know, definitely have work, enough time. Uh, yeah. yeah. Still a thought. 
Oh, yeah. It was yeah. long. <laughs> the stealth one was long. We'll, we're going to be doing something like that eventually with all four people here again. Yeah. Um, they, and, they are in our bubble, so we could yep. technically get that to work, but I think I think we'll just have to see how things go. And it'll be pandemic wise and all that. So it'll pretty be pretty much be the um, multiplayer um, games that we'll be playing the yes. next time. So yeah, and I really wanted to plan that for the Quad Tari release. But that hasn't come out yet, right? Yeah. So yeah, but there's still plenty of time. So I think I, that's what I'm kind of holding it off for. Mm. Because it'll be fun. We'll have the Quadtari. It'll be a big show. We'll have a ton of games to play that support yeah. the Quadtari. Mm -hmm. That's really what I want to save it for. Um, so that'll be that'll be good. It'll be the Quadtariathon. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Goodness, this this oh. dude. Look at the fluff coming off of him. Oh uh, yeah, he doesn't like being brushed. Oh my gosh, I'm oh, covered. And I almost forgot. Mm. That... Uh, Miss Command said, what time would that be? I'm assuming you mean Wednesday. Oh, Wednesday, it's 11. Yeah. Wednesday would be 11 p uh, Pacific time. Uh, Fridays are 12. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, Daryl Spice Jr., August 14th. Mm -hmm. is going to be his developer spotlight day. Uh, make sure you leave some questions in the... Uh, forums for that. Let me give you the link here. Um, that you want to ask Daryl Spice Jr. about any of his games or programming. He is an expert programmer. Mm. He has done um, lots of, like tutorials on programming. He's done um, DPC tutorials. Now he's working on a CDFJ tutorial. He's done assembly tutorials. Uh, his games include Medieval Mayhem, Stay Frosty 1 and 2, Space Rocks, and Draconian. Draconian's one of my most favorite homebrews. Mm, it's uh, excellent. It's, it's so it good. It really is excellent, yeah. Yeah, I'm very excited about this developer spotlight as well. And then in September, we're going to be talking with John Champeau for his developer spotlight. Oh my God. That's <laughs> terrible. Look at this. I'm going to have to keep it up there. He'll yeah. It. Oh my goodness. Um, Sorry, I'm CDFJ <laughs> uh, Arena Tutorial, soon to be released. Yes, that is true. Jesus. Already has the eight other parts. Got it out of my calendar, AVC. So yes, make sure you uh, think of some questions posted in the forums yep. so we can ask them or you can mm. save them till the show day um, and when we sound? do it live. It, is, ooh, is that it is Darcy a very good question. Uh, I booked it... Is it on a Sunday? Without thinking about that. I believe it's on a Friday. Okay. Um, but I'm going to look in the schedule because it switches back and forth. <gasps> and somewhere between LA and BC is an RGB modded 2600. Yeah. I think it's Yay. in California still. But yeah, it's it takes moving, a while. But it hasn't been updated in and a And then it hits days. the Canadian border and it'll sit there for about a month. So, it just you know. Just sits there. Just. Um, so, okay. So, this week mm. is you next week the next two shows are the guys yeah next two weeks are you yeah guys it's you okay you yeah. on a friday yeah there you go so you're practiced at it excellent there you go it just happened to be that day yeah uh, i don't know if i planned it for that and we don't know the exact day for um john champos yet because we're going to yeah. coordinate that with the zookeeper boxed copy unboxing release nice so when i get in my hands zookeeper, zookeeper then we'll have the i'm gonna try and arrange it with al to get it like as quick as possible yeah um so it'll be also a very good which, which would promotion be for it to show it ridiculously off. slow because it'll come through canada post yeah but you know what can you do <laughs> some people they'll probably get it before me the people in the u.s but that's okay yeah. it's like our t-shirts i mean as soon as he they gets all the got box, the zero page t-shirts before we did everyone so everyone everyone <laughs> I think everyone said their teeth that said now we got we got the mugs very quickly mm -hmm. like instantaneously and um stickers did we get I didn't know oh, no, stickers. we got the pillow and the mugs instantaneously and the t-shirts took forever so love the pillow oh my god that pillow is pretty cute it's full of cat hair though oh well this is, is to be this is this dude right here look at you. this look at this it's another cat there <sighs> Atari it has been hot yeah. yeah i so think that's why he's just shedding, shedding. yeah <laughs> isn't that awful don't wear yeah. black anyway no. okay we're done <laughs> uh, so we'll see you on maybe wednesday definitely mm. friday would opening a 3d render of it count <laughs> no 
No, because I want the cartridge and the yeah. manual and the box and show off the art. Yeah. 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 Um. So a three D render. No. <laughs> it wouldn't be <laughs> quite, wouldn't be quite the same. Yeah. It it's more exciting having it all together. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but there's a lot of lot of things on on John Shampoo's uh, developer spotlight that are going to be very exciting. Good. Very exciting. You're very excited. You do not want to miss it. <laughs> it's too exciting. I think it's too exciting. Yeah. And it shouldn't be as exciting. <laughs> but anyway, that's far in the future. <laughs> um, so we will see you on Wednesday slash mm -hmm. Friday. Mm -hmm. Thanks for hanging out. Bye, everyone. Bye.